so I've got a problem in that, well, I mean, I guess you could say that, like, you know, there, can there ever really be too much washi tape? But my problem really comes in that I don't have enough space to store it all. So today, what we're going to do is try and get get rid of some of my washi tape. There are three possible ways for a washi tape to be gotten rid of. One of them is to, you know, put it in the bin uh, because maybe the washi tape isn't really that good a quality or it doesn't stick very well or like it's just low-key fugly and I don't think that I want to subject other people on that. That is one possibility. The other way is that I may donate it to somebody else. And as I've already said in the chat, if you live in Wellington, you do get like kind of first dibs on my washi tape de stash. So if, you, if there are any that I de stash, like when we go through the de stash pile that you're like, oh my God, I want that, then just make sure you message me on like Instagram or Discord or like whatever. And then the third way that a washi could be gotten rid of is by kind of like graduating, I guess. I don't know if graduation is really the right word. Maybe like being demoted is more the correct word. But it could get demoted to this box here. Ugh, no, noisy box. But this box is effectively where I put my washi tapes that I use for masking my page. So anytime I want to do like super, super straight or crisp lines, this is the washi tape that kind of gets used for that, which honestly, I think like I probably have too many of those and I could probably go through some of these as well, but that's a future us problem. So we'll put that to the side. Ah, there we go. Hello everybody who's saying hello in the chat. It's such a pleasure to have you here. And if you're here for your first time, that's very exciting. I'm trying to make live streaming a more regular part of the, uh, the channel experience. So hopefully, you know, if you're here on the replay, you can maybe make one in the future or X, Y, Z, A, B, C. So how do we start? <laughs> because obviously this is only one drawer and this isn't the drawer that was in the uh, thumbnail. We also have a complete other drawer that's full of washi and we have some that wouldn't fit in the drawer thus the need for the de-stashing because like yeah too many well I mean they're all beautiful but anywho I genuinely am not sure where to start but a couple of ground rules all right we have to consider the washi as an individual roll we can't consider it as part of a set because as soon as you get a whole set together like for instance like all of these guys then I'm just like oh look at how beautiful they all look together this is the cheerleader effect we want to avoid the cheerleader effect the cheerleader effect is effectively like seeing a group of items or like typically used to describe people but that's just, that's just rude but anyways a, a group of items that when viewed together look really good but when you go and consider them individually you're kind of like eh, yeah so for instance let's say like this guy here and this guy here, they were part of a set. This came in, I think, like the March accessory box from Archer and Olive last year. And it was all kind of like, you know, green themed and stuff. So it had green leafy stickers and date covers and A, B, C, D, Y, X, Y, Z, all of the good kind of stuff. But like, if I look at them individually, I don't really like this one. So like, it's probably going to end up getting demoted. Like, it is cute. It makes for, like, a cute border and stuff. But, like, because of the white background, it doesn't necessarily, like, blend seamlessly into the page. So we're just going to just gonna put that one to the side, for instance. I think what I might do, I'm going to get this, this guy out of the way, though. And we might just kind of pull out portions of the tape so we can kind of see them in view. And we can see the uh, increasing, as we like to call it, the uh, fuck it bucket, which are the ones that are going away from my space. So... As we go through, I probably won't initially kind of sort them into those three different areas of like discard, donate, and demote. <laughs> I like that they're all Ds. Nice. Uh, but we will at least put them into the keep and maybe and I'm not keeping this pile. So then we can kind of sort through them at the end. Hopefully that makes sense. I am a big fan of decluttering. Decluttering is one of my favorite sports along with sitting and sleeping and eating. But... We need to get this out of the way so we can actually start. I need more space. I mean, I say that. I have so much desk space and it is absolutely gorgeous. And since I did my whole like declutter reorganization thing for my office, I was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, the llama tape is like right here. There we go. He's pretty cute. I will probably have to bring him to go wild. There we go. But we'll put these out of the way. See? There we go. Get in there. And let's grab some out. 
so I probably, although I said I wanted to avoid the cheerleader effect, I do want to deal with these in, I guess, like categories, I suppose, just for, you know, my own kind of peace of mind. Um, and I'm going to need to find a space on my desk that I can actually put all of the things. Hmm, how do we start this? Well, let's go grab one that's like nice and easy to see because that one was already stored together. So these guys here, they were from Spotlight and they are like, you know, like a watercolor rainbow and like I'm a sucker for a rainbow. <laughs> so even just looking at these together, I'm just like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. I must keep them kind of a thing. But again, we're going to deal with them individually. The problem is that individually they are also beautiful. So I'm probably going to keep them. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no, the washi from the washi tape shop is dangerous. It is, yeah, it's one of those things, like it's expensive and and I can understand that it is certainly outside of people's price range because, you know, last time I put an order in for myself, I was just like, oh my God, yes, that is a lot to spend on tape, but it's so beautiful, <laughs> cries. Anyways, so individually, I actually really like these and as you can probably tell from the sizing of some of them, some of them have been used a lot more than others. So that yellow one, for instance, I used that for like a full monthly setup. And then this orange one was another monthly setup. I did use a tinge of green, this tealish kind of color. That one's been used a lot. I just really love having some kind of like basic colors, but because of the watercolor effect, they're not like super basic, <laughs> if that kind of makes sense. Hopefully you can kind of see the watercolor effect because it is quite pretty. Oh God, it doesn't stick very well. It's one of those things that like, even though it doesn't stick very well, I'd probably just use double-sided tape because it's beautiful. But we are going to keep this one in the keep pile for now. I know we're not starting the decluttering very strong on that one, but it's so pretty. Let me just stick that back to itself. It will probably be one that, like, maybe in my next declutter round, if I haven't used more of them, then we should probably get rid of it. But you can stay. Only because I know I will use you. As I have previously. We have historic data that tells us that Jess uses that tape. But we also have historic data that tells us that Jess doesn't really use these tapes. They, these are my glitter tapes from Scotch. So like I don't know if you can really see in there, but they are Scotch brand, which means they stick way better than other glitter tapes. Like some glitter tapes, they are um, just like the sticking is just not the business. Or when you pull them off, and um, like pull them off the roll. They are uh, like pick the glitter up from underneath on the other side, and then it's just like messy. It doesn't really doesn't really help. So I kept these ones in our last declutter because these ones do stick really well. And again, you can probably see that there are some that I've used more than others. I don't know what it is with me in yellow, like because really I wouldn't say that yellow is one of my favorite colors, but it seems that I've used it the most in this set and the last set. Again, though, we need to consider these as individuals. Like, do I actually like them individually? And oh, while the color is absolutely beautiful, I think these ones are probably going to have to go. It's really hard to let go. We're going to put them in the maybe pile. We're going to put them in the maybe pile. You're the discard pile now. Over here. All right. I also need to try and find a way to stack them without making my camera focus on them because then you won't see anything. So this is now, it's going away somewhere. Like this is one of the Ds, either delete, uh, donate, or oh, delete, <laughs> discard, discard, donate, or demote. That's that pile. This is the maybe pile, which last time when we made the maybe pile, literally everything from the maybe pile ended up in this pile, but... That, we'll think about that later. When you declutter, do you usually just toss them into the trash or do you try to give them to someone? So it really depends on the item. Um, this time around, because, you know, the, the, the tapes aren't necessarily just like, you know, crappy tapes or anything. They're more just maybe ones that aren't really for me or whatnot. I will try and give them away. My last um, lots of tape, there were some that went straight into the bin because they were, uh, they just like didn't have good sticking power, for instance. So there's not really much point in keeping a tape that doesn't have good sticking power, she says, as she tries to keep a tape that has no sticking power. But um, the ones that I decluttered last time, I ended up giving them away to a, uh, like a family that lives just up the road. So they have like two young girls and they like, 
constantly using like stickers and tape and stuff like that. And I'm like, well, hey, at least it's going to somebody who will actually use it. Um, so this time I will be trying to do some some giving away of things. Uh, like, for instance, anytime people come over to my house that I know are into kind of crafty stuff, I'm just like, hey, do you want to look through my discard pile? Do you want anything? Um, that's how Monica and I became friends. <laughs> so, okay, we are going to deal. We're going to really kind of test me now. We're going to deal with all of the skinny washi tapes because skinny washi tapes are one of those things that are really kind of hard to come by, I find, or at least, you know, in my neck of the woods, they're not easy to come by. So when it comes to decluttering them, I'm always like, oh, but but I can't get these again, but I could use these again, X, Y, Z. And I'm just like, yeah, but like, but do you use them? But do you really? <laughs> And last time I think we did a pretty good job of getting rid of some of them, but since then I feel like I have not used these enough to really warrant keeping this many. But again, we have that whole like cheerleader effect going. So you can see that like we have a very pretty kind of like color spectrum here of the pink through to the purple through to like the blues and greens. And that is dangerous. <sighs> Part of me wants to mix them up just so I can really look at them by themselves. And part of me is like, oh, but then you'll have to sort them out later. But I know it's gonna be more beneficial for me to sort them when I don't have them in color order. So we're gonna give them a toss. <laughs> it's like spaghetti, but all the spaghetti are in loops. So we have this one here, which I don't really know if you can see it, but it's got this kind of like little confetti pattern. And I'm like a sucker for confetti, but I also know I have not used this since the last time I did this video. So it's gonna go in this pile. Yeah, toss the washi salad, beautiful. <laughs> this is another one, like, I'm pretty sure that anything that had dots last time I kept because I'm just like a sucker for dots, but this one even has like a double up of dots on top. I don't know if you can really see that. Can you see that? Like, oh God. See how it's got like the two lines of dots that are the same at the top? It's like not even good, so. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on task. I'm trying to. <laughs> there we go. We'll put that one into the discard pile. Oh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just pick ones out that would make me feel like I could do this. I could do this. So this one's just like a pale kind of pink. I'm like not opposed, but I also haven't used you. So oh. yeah, it's a little bit hard to get things in focus, but in general, you should be mainly in focus. If you are finding the stream blurry, obviously, like if you're here on the replay, there's not a lot we can do about that, maybe. I don't know. Let's try it anyways. Just refresh your page uh, because sometimes it doesn't actually kind of, I don't know, set the stream to the right resolution. Another thing you can do is that if you hover over the play screen, there's the little cog, which is where the settings are, and you can just go to quality and change it from auto to 720, because I think that's what StreamYard lets me stream in. So this one, we have little moons, which is very pretty again, and they are gold, which you can probably tell, but I didn't use them, so we're gonna put them away. Goodbye. Ha <laughs> ha! The discard pile is slowly growing, though the maybe pile is distinctly bigger. But that's because the washi is bigger, so I think I'm still doing okay. Uh, let's see. I need something. I know I'm not supposed to pick and choose. Okay, I'm, ke I'm keeping this one. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't not. Like, guys, it has little stars. I love little stars. So that one's getting kept. It's beautiful. <laughs> I can't let go of that. I'm allowed to keep some things, right? <laughs> This one has silver triangles and pur like dark purple at the bottom. And while I do love a dark purple, I haven't really been using this. So I'm gonna put that there. <laughs> you didn't realize it was live even though it says in the title. Whoops. <laughs> um, this one also has little stars. So I'm gonna have to keep this too because it's just like, I just have a soft spot for little stars. Like little dots and little stars, I have a soft spot for in both cases. But like this one, at least the color is good and the little stars are good. So we can keep that one. This one has little dark purple hearts. So it's like a pale purple, like a lilac-ish kind of background. And then these little dark purple hearts. But as much as I love purple, haven't used it. So we're going to put it over there. All right. Oh, this one I totally have used. I don't know how easy it is to see. This one's another one that has like the foiling kind of thing on it. And it's got little, little gold kind of stars and a dark purple background. And it's absolutely gorgeous. So... <laughs> Oh, well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you can at least appreciate my descriptions. It's like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit tricky. Oh, this one's really cool. Where's the other one that's really cool? These two are like 
cousins, twins. They've got like the kind of like woven pattern to them. And so one of them's like got the, the kind of blues and combination. The other one's got the purple combination. And I really like the pattern. I think I like the purple more than I like the blue. So I'm going to put the blue one in a maybe and I'm going to put the purple one in the yes. There we go. All right, we have one additional tape to the maybe pile now. <laughs> it looks really weird just on top of like a rainbow tower of glitter. This one I kept because it was dots, but they're actually just like one big row of dots on pink. And I don't really, I wouldn't use this. Like, let's be honest, I wouldn't use this. So we're just going to put that to the side. Don't let yourself get kind of like taken by the idea of, oh my gosh, I love it because it's, you know, tiny washi tape. Like this one, I've got two of the same. And I'm like, you didn't even use it since last time you did your declutter. So you don't really need it. But I absolutely love polka dots. So I'm like, that's probably why I kept it. And white polka dots on red is like a classic combination. I'm going to keep the one that's more full. <laughs> there we go. So, so far in terms of my tiny washies, we have kept five. Five tiny washies are being kept. And ones that are being, well, they're in the D pile, whatever that may be. We've got six, seven, eight. Eight in the pile of, of going elsewhere for other reasons. This one has little stars. And... While I do love little stars, the color of these is like a dark brown kind of thing, like a dark brown yellow. So it's like not, I think it's supposed to look kind of golden, but it's not foiled. So I don't really use it. So that can go into the no thank you, not today pile. Okay, this one looks like salmon, like, <laughs> like the fish, not just the color. It's like the, the color of salmon, but um, eh, come on, get off the roll. You can do this. Uh, but it's got like a little stripe in it. Stripes are another thing I really like. <laughs> I am going to put you in the maybe because I can see me using you, but I don't know if I like you enough to warrant it. All of these kind of like pale green ones, like I only kept this one because it has stars on it. And realistically, I don't like the color of the background, which is this kind of like pale green, but not a pale green that I really gravitate towards. So you can go into the goodbye pile, which is becoming very structurally unsound because we've put like a tiny washi in the middle of like all of these big ones. Just reorder that pile so it's not completely a mess. Oh, we had a question, did we? I love questions. Let's see. Denise asks us, what's everybody else drinking? I'm, of course, you know, with classic. Dink, Cook Zero. But we've also got some, ooh, some chais, and we've got some iced coffee, vanillas. And now I'm just thirsty for, like, all of the things. This is problematic. Sweet tea with caramel vodka sounds so flipping good. <laughs> I am, like, very jealous. That sounds brilliant. It is literally 9.20 on a Monday morning here, so I need to probably, like, calm down with, like, maybe we shouldn't be drinking vodka, me personally, where I am. Um so for everybody who is like, oh, yep, it's beer o'clock here and whatnot, good for you. You, you have your, your alcoholic beverages. I'll try and hold off until at least midday. <laughs> so this one here is like a rose gold kind of foiling on this kind of lilac-y background, and it's a very cute pattern. I'm going to actually put it in the maybe pile, though, because although I really do like it and I could see myself using it, I haven't used it. So I'm like, are you just lying to yourself? This one has little gold foiling. Nope, not gold. The other one, rose gold. Rose gold foiling with little asterisk kind of shapes. And I am going to put that in the no pile. It's a beautiful dark purple. The dark purple is really gorgeous. But the asterisks are probably like not really my kind of thing. So yeah, very much that vibe of it's five o'clock somewhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. So we can all have a drink if we want to. I'm going to get rid of the little gold dots, um, mainly because where the cut is, and I think it might be a little hard to see, but the dots are a lot lower on the tape than, or I mean, if you flip it over, they're a lot higher, I guess, but they're not centered and that would bother me. So I'm going to put that in the discard pile. I mean, like if, if you put it on white paper, it's probably not as noticeable, but uh, it, it notices, it notices me. It noticed me. Oh my God. I notice it and I am bothered. So I will put it in that pile there. Let's see. I, again, I kept this one because I like dots, but I don't really like the green. So I'm going to put that one over there. And uh, this one's hard because I actually really love this. It looks very much like 
like a kind of like a makeup palette swatch almost. Like it's got all the little kind of pinks and beiges and like a little pop of orangey kind of color. And that's very cute, but I don't think I would use it. So that one can go over here. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about how much I'm getting rid of from my mini washies because, again, if I had have let them sit there in the cheerleader effect, you know, where they were in that pretty rainbow order, I probably wouldn't have gotten rid of so many of them. So we're getting there. We still have some to go, though. So stay focused. <laughs> All right. Uh, that one's the same, like, literally the same tape that we had before with the, the dots on the dark green. So we need to, we need to go put that over there. Go. and okay this is gorgeous we have to keep this one um I don't know how easy it is to see the foiling but it's so pretty it's like this kind of like little silver speckle that looks like a starry night sky but it's on I would probably call that a purple it's like a it's either a super dark blue that is like a tinge of red or it's a purple but it's pretty so do you ever regret one you have gotten rid of that is a good question um like, I guess you could say yes, but because I hadn't actually gotten rid of it yet, I did still have it. So, for instance, let's see. This guy here was one that we decluttered last time. But then I was doing a uh, panda theme last year for May. And I wanted to have some green washi to put in the background of my Dutch door. So I just fished it out of the discard box. But if I hadn't have had it, I probably would have just like used green paper or something else kind of a thing. So I, I haven't ever gotten rid of one that I had like super major regrets of because I can usually find a workaround. I'm like, you know, maybe a tiny, tiny tinge bit disappointed. I've also that, kind of got the opinion that like if I discard a washi and I you know, do start missing it, I'll just go buy it again, kind of a thing. Like, it's a, it's a bit unfortunate, and I'll probably kick myself, like, oh, Jess, you know, you, you really should have kept that one, but when it comes to, you know, the, the amount of space that I have, I kind of think about it as, like, all of you guys are, like, taking up real estate in my house rent-free, <laughs> so you better be good if you're going to be staying here. So, you know, I love stripes. I think these are really, really cute. <laughs> I'm going to be keeping this one. It's beautiful. Let me put that back. But yeah, so no major regrets, at least. You can see that I kind of have a general color palette that I'm leaning towards here. <laughs> like most of them are just the purple ones, which is funny because I really don't think that I use purple that much in my journal. Like I love purple, it's my favorite color, but yeah. This one I kept because I have used it previously in a weekly and really liked it. It's kind of got a little gradient of oranges, yellows, and reds. And I think it's quite cute, but I haven't used it since. So I might put it in the maybe pile so I can think about it a little more. There we go. I love how precarious the tower already is because one of those foil washies is way smaller than his friends. Okay, let's see. This one's cute. It has dots, but I don't, the dots aren't offset. <laughs> like, I prefer my dots to be offset. So I think we're going to get rid of that one. There's also a misprint at the start. I don't know if you can really see it, but there's like a section where there should be dots and there aren't. So I'll just pull that part off and put that over there. Get off my fingers. I'm trying to do something. There we go. This one has stripes. It's not bad, but I'm like not immediately drawn to it. They're very little stripes. It's quite, it's like quite cute, but it's, um, I don't know, not really for me. So I'll put that to the side. Ooh, this one's another one that has that, I don't even know what this pattern would be called, because it's not quite a zigzag, it's probably just a zig, like there's just like one arrow kind of thing, so this zig pattern, it's like a cute enough pattern, it's a pretty colour, but I haven't used it, so it can go in the discard pile. This one has gold foil dots, we know how I feel about foiling, we know how I feel about dots, but I don't think that I've like used it in a while. Yeah, it's like a chevron pattern, I'm bad with pattern names. <laughs> I'm not very good at, at, at um, remembering pattern names outside of, like, real simple one, like, check. Um, there we go, Chevron. All right, you guys know things. You're on to it. it. Yeah, it's kind of like just an arrows pattern. Uh, let's see. See, this is a zigzag because you can see it zigs and it zags. Um, and while I do like the purple, it's, again, one of those ones that I probably wouldn't use very often. So that one can go into the D pile. The D pile. I feel like I'm going to actually end up having to have some kind of a box here that I can put 
the depile in because I'm just worried that it's going to fall over at some stage. This is the same issue that we had before with the, uh, the little kind of gradient of yellows. And I'm thinking that now as I see this one, I don't want to keep them. So, hey, look, we made choices. They can both go goodbye. See, they're like, they're like friends. They're, they're, they're a pair. But that pair can go over here. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Okay. This one has little lightning bolts. And I, like, literally have never used it, I'm pretty sure. So it can go out. And this one is, like, the only one that would be in that peachy color. And I think that's probably why I kept it. And I do love the dots. But we're going to have to... We're going to have to put that to the side. Yay! All right, we're going to check, make sure we don't have any tiny washi left over. I don't think we do, but we might pull out all of the ones that are not 1.5 centimeters, and we'll have a look at those. So we've got these two here. We've got a red polka dot. We know how I feel out dots. I don't think that's actually technically a polka dot. It's just dots. It's also running away. Dude, what's your damage? Uh, we've got some purple stars. We've got some black polka dots, which I think is more typical of a polka dot because it's actually in that kind of like pattern formation thing. We've got these guys. We've got all of the ones that sit in here. And this is part of the issue that I've got. Like I've got all of these little tape dispensers obviously not all of them are actually thin guys but again they're in color families so we've got the cheerleader effect and we've also got the issue of these are just bulky and I really just don't want to have to store them in my drawer because it's just not helpful all right yes a box would be a good idea thank you for agreeing with me I'm gonna need to find something in my office because I've recently gotten rid of all of my boxes yeah Oh, yes, um, we did get all of the skinny washies, like all of these guys and stuff, in a set. So, yeah, that makes sense that we probably have the same set. I think that they were from something like AliExpress or something like that. I got them ages ago, so I can't really remember quite where they're, they're from. Alrighty. Do you find the color slash color combination more of a reason to keep some of the washies versus the kind of patterns? Um, yeah, I probably agree with that. I mean, most of the time when I go looking for a washi tape, I'm usually looking for a specific color rather than looking for a specific type of decoration. Um, so like, for instance, this guy here, because he was a pale pinky purple, I used him in my February setup. No, September. Sorry. September setup last year because, oh, no, it wasn't last year. It was the year before. Do you guys have the same issue where like all of the past couple of years just like blend together? And you don't really remember what, quite what happened when? Yeah, that's me. Um, but this one got used in my pastel clouds setup. So even though it had stars on it because of the color, I did use it. So yeah, I find that I, I pick mainly for color rather than, uh, what's the word? Pattern. <laughs> Obviously. I'm dehydrated and I need to drink. Tink. Yeah, literally all of them together. So anytime I'm trying to say like, oh yeah, you know, my setup from insert month here, I can't necessarily remember which year it was from, which is kind of problematic. Um, let's see. Do we have any skinnier washies in here? It doesn't seem like it. And we've gotten all of the ones out of, nope, there you are. I see you sneak in. Yes, sneaking. Um, I think that's the rest of them, though. That looks pretty good. All right. So, oh, I lied. I lied. This one was hiding. That's the problem. Like, when they're all sitting in the drawer together, especially when they're, like, the same size as each other, when they butt up against each other, I can't necessarily tell which ones are the big ones or the small ones. There's, like, actually heaps that I've missed. <laughs> Here was me thinking that I had, had got my stuff together. Absolutely not. There we go. That one, that one. It could be the kind of thing that we just come back and find more later, but if I can get them out of out of there to start, that's just it's just gonna help me out. It's gonna help me out. We're doing doing little kind of favors for future Jess. Alrighty. So I am going to oh gosh, my throat. Excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to have to take these guys out um, because, yeah, I don't want to keep the dispensers. Like, while they are helpful to have something that you can actually dispense the tape from, I find that some of them are a little bit hard to turn because they kind of get stuck when they're butt up against the other ones. Um, and I don't think that the dispensing function is 
as helpful as not having them stuck to each other would be. Yeah. <laughs> non washing related question. Alrighty. You're going away from the 26th of Feb to the 5th of March. You put the spread in your Feb or March that up. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, I would probably just make like a dedicated holiday spread in between the two months. Um, or I would make a separate journal, tee hee hee. Uh, but if, if it's not that kind of trip, then, you know, it's not that kind of trip. Yeah, I would probably just set up my February stuff and then put in my holiday stuff and then put in my March stuff because it kind of overlaps both of the months. Um, but that's just, you know, if you wanted to kind of signify that that was a, a special, like, little piece in time so that you could have, like, its own separate little, separate accommodation in your journal. Uh, but yeah, it also really kind of depends on how much planning and stuff you want or memory keeping, depending again on the type of trip that you want to do with regards to that. Like if you want a whole heap of stuff, then, you know, a separate journal might make sense. If you only want like a couple of pages, then just putting it in between the two months makes sense. Yeah. Oh, my poor tapes. Because they've like obviously sat out, they're now kind of a little bit, I don't know, cattywampus, curly. <laughs> But I think it will be a lot easier to store them without these. Now, this is going to be another situation where I could be influenced by the cheerleader effect. So we're going to, first of all, just, like, rip off all the extra pieces because, like, most of these tape rolls have enough tape that I really don't mind losing a little bit for the sake of ease. Um, but, yeah, I need to make sure that I don't let myself get... <laughs> distracted by the prettiness together so we'll chuck them all into a pile and then they can get mixed up obviously i'm taking out any of the bigger ones so that we can deal with them later sweet <laughs> there we go so these ones all came in well i say all of them maybe not necessarily all of them but a good chunk of them came uh in a kind of like color packs i guess which is why they're still in their color packs uh from S nope office works office works in australia um they sell them on these little dispensers and i mainly only really needed the black one because i wanted to have black washi tape that was thinner like this because that's one of the ones that i use a lot um so i will certainly be keeping that one but then i really kind of probably got suckered in cheerleader effect strikes again with all of the kind of color sets i'm like oh that's awesome because then like you know you got a bunch of different greens and you've got a bunch of like oranges and yellows and it's gonna just be so helpful kind of a thing and then you don't ever really use them because you're either gonna use them all together or like they don't necessarily fit with your other ones or you know it's just like a bunch of different reasons um but yeah, so during our last declutter, I did get rid of some of them, and I based it mainly on pattern because, like, you know, all of the yellows are pretty, pretty non-offensive. <laughs> uh, but yes, having them, having them together like this just makes me more inclined to keep them. I don't necessarily actually like the patterns enough for that. I am going to mute myself for a second because I obviously need to clear my throat, and, like, you guys don't want to hear that. Oh my gosh, that's like so much better. <laughs> I can talk now. It makes you want to watch The Mean Girls. I love Mean Girls so much. It's such a good film. <laughs> like, I think it's probably like a nostalgia thing more than anything. But it is such a quotable movie. Oh god, these ones are so stuck. Ugh, gosh, ew. I apologize if the like bad ASMR of the tape is just like super not pleasing. <laughs> just need to like get them out. Yeah, see the solid, solid colors are ones that I would really gravitate towards. Um they're the ones that I would say that I would have liked the most, but they're also the ones that I find myself using a lot less frequently than I thought I would, which is odd because a lot of the time I'm using washi tape for a pop of color. I'm not usually using it for like full decoration in my like personal everyday journal. Um, so I would always kind of say like, oh yeah, I like to have the solid ones. Um, but then a lot of the solid colors you get are really naff. <laughs> Which is a really nice, nice way to say it, eh? Um, sometimes the colors that they've got are just, they're really hard to match with pens or they're just not very aesthetically pleasing. Like, I'm not really big on pastels. I can, like, some pastel color palettes, don't get me wrong, are absolutely gorgeous. But a lot of the time, the pastel washies, they just look really kind of like, 
I don't know, sadly washed out. Like this one is one from Kmart. So we can't judge it too harshly, but we're going to. Uh, but when I put this down on the page, I'm like, it barely looks purple. I'm like, ugh, I'd rather a bit more saturation in my pastels. <laughs> and this one's like a pastel kind of yellow color. But if you look at it by itself, it kind of just looks a little bit pukey. Yeah. So that's why I think, yeah, I'm, I'm of the same opinion now. I prefer the watercolor effect rather than the solid color because you still get the kind of block of color, but you've got enough variation in it that I think it just looks a little bit prettier. This is just, you know, <laughs> it's so beautiful. But it is also, it only comes in like very set colors. So like all of these guys are super bright. So if I was doing a more pastel kind of color palette, you know, that I do every so often, not a lot, then those wouldn't really work. Uh, but yeah, which is why I've kind of started slowly gravitating towards things that have a pattern, but the pattern's really simple. So like a grid pattern is probably one of my favorite ones. I really, <laughs> I really like grid patterns. So that's probably why you got kept. But anyways, we're still, we're on, we're unboxing it. My gosh. Oh, if we can get the lid off. But yes, I will be glad to be rid of the uh, the little dispensers only because I just, just don't use and or need them. You can see that I have bought two of the black palette because I've got double ups of these guys here, like two of this kind of crosshatch one and two of these dots. The dots like low key remind me of Dalmatians, but I don't think Dalmatian dots are quite as circular. <laughs> But if somebody was doing a Dalmatians theme, I would totally get them to put this in it because it would, it looks very that. It's very that. Do you guys ever find yourself like saying a particular thing a lot? And you're just like, when did I even start saying that? I think it was like literally a few days I noticed myself. I keep on saying like, oh, yeah, very that when I'm trying to agree with people. Like Vogue will be like, oh, you know, oh, it's so grossly hot in the car. And I'll be like, mm, it's very that. I'm like, oh, gosh. Like, every time I say it, I low-key cringe, but, you know, it's now become part of my regular speech patterns. <laughs> Your cat is demanding cuddles. Yep, yeah, must, must provide cuddles. Oh, yeah, who's running a, a sale? What do we have? Yep, Stationery Pal has a Valentine's sale. That's awesome. I love a good sale, but I'm also a sucker for a good sale. I'm like, I don't really need anything, but you slap the word sale on it, so now I'm going to have to go have a look. <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry that your work, your week wasn't very good, Laura. I am hope that, that the live can provide you some comfort and distraction. Yeah. That's hard. Um, let's see. So we're going to do the same thing again. We're not allowing ourselves to be taken by the cheerleader effect. So we will toss the salad. Toss the lost salad. Yes. Oh, what are you doing in here? You're not part of it. And we want bite-sized pieces, you know? That's the most important thing to remember when preparing a salad. How How is the person going to eat this? Are they going to need a knife and a fork, or do we just want them to eat this with a fork? Or, I don't know, other utensils that you might eat salads with. So, at a glance, I can tell you I'm not keeping this. <laughs> I will not use this tape, so you can go over there. Gray. Mm. I'm just trying to see if there are any that I can immediately pick out as ones that I'm not going to really use, like these gold dots. I only kept you because you're dots, but I don't really like you. Uh, fluoro orange. Okay, it's not really fluoro. Really bright. See, it's that idea of like together. I'm like, oh, look, a little palette. No, we don't need that one. But then it's got a really like limey green color. See? Oh, oh, no, we don't need that one. Put it away. <laughs> Go away. Yeah, 52 washi pickup. Very that. Stop it with the saying of very that. I kept this one because I liked the pattern on it, but I have never used it because you'd have to like make a theme around the whole thing. And that's the issue is like a lot of the patterned washies that I have, you would have to build like a whole thing around it. And that's why you can go over here, my dear. And this one has a grid, but it's that kind of like green ruled grid that you'd find on like maths paper. So I'm gonna put you over there. <laughs> Oh, greetings from Austria. Hello, Austria and the people of Austria. <laughs> Let's see. I, again, I'm just trying to pull out the ones that I know I'm not really going to use. Like I kept both of these last time because I was so dang sure that I was going to use them. I don't actually like this pattern. Like if it was just a simple, simple kind of grid, then I would be more inclined, but it's not. So I can go over there. Bye bye now. I do like dots though. So I might just put those to the side. Like, let's see. 
Um, this one I kept again probably because it dots. I don't know if you can really see them. They're a little bit tricky to see because they're a pale grey background with white dots and I don't need it because I don't really like pale grey as a colour. And look, I kept two of them because again this came in that black set. So both of those can go into the Not Today Satan pile. We have more dots. <laughs> you can see, like, I really do like dots. <laughs> That's probably why half of them got, got kept. Um, and, like, it's fun and it's sunshiny. And, I mean, like, it would be a cute pop of colour. But I don't really use yellow, so I'm going to put that one to the side. Goodbye. I think it's, like, <clears throat> excuse me. Like, if I was to want to do this type of pattern in my journal, I probably just wouldn't use washi tape. I'd just use dot markers. Like, I'd put my own dots in because then I can fill a space the way I want to. It's not just going to be, like, a strip of dots. This one's another polka dot one. We've got a yellow polka dots or like white dots on a yellow background, which again, I don't really gravitate towards yellow. So we're going to put that one in the no thank you. I don't need you anymore pile. This yellow like together looks golden, but I low key think it'd be really, really bright. Yeah. Okay. Individually, like as an individual layer, very, very bright. When it's all stacked on top of each other, a nice kind of golden color. So, yeah, that's something to be aware of with um, coloured washi tapes that are kind of, like, a little bit transparent is that when they're on the roll, the colour is obviously, like, many layers on top of each other. But then the tape itself, when you lay it down, is not that. All right, what else stands out as one that I probably don't really need? This pale pink colour, I probably wouldn't use so much. That one can go over there. Um... Probably not going to use this blue either. Put that to the side. <laughs> uh, blue dots, I'm probably not going to use you. Let's see. I'm probably not going to use... Oh, gosh. I don't like this palette. <laughs> um, and I'm probably not going to use any of them individually, so that one can go over here as well. This green... Nah, I'm not going to use that. And I'm not going to use this grey. Probably not going to use that stripe either, So just, just so you guys can see. Um, this one is like a silver stripe. But it's, it's, like, not really shiny. It's, it's like, that kind of, like, half shiny. Uh, I really don't know how to describe that. <laughs> it's the kind of thing that I'm, like, there's nothing necessarily wrong with these tapes. And that's why they're not going to get thrown away. Like, they, they are somebody's cup of tea. They're just not my cup of tea. And I haven't been using them. So I don't see the point in keeping them, if that kind of makes sense. I know, right? The D pile is growing. <laughs> I like calling it the D pile. That just makes my soul happy. Um, this one I kept again because it had the foiling and I don't think I've used it since really. So it can go out as well. This is a big roll, like just in terms of the center kind of hole of the washi. That's another thing that bothers me about storing washi is that like actually trying to put them in the drawer is tricky because they're all like when they get stacked next to each other, they're all different heights and then different widths. And so it just becomes a little bit challenging. But anywho. So this one I already know that I'm not going to use. But because it's from Archer and Olive, that's a nice way of saying this. <laughs> it doesn't stick very well. <laughs> like, or more so, it's very easy to pull up from the page, which I guess in a way is kind of nice for washi tape because then you can, like, you know, if you put it down in the wrong place, you can move it, that kind of stuff. But because it doesn't uh, rip the page when you pull it away from the paper because of its, you know, stickability, question mark it's really good for doing those um masking of the page areas to color in lines um let's see do i have a piece of paper here? just in case people are like what the heck are you talking about jess um so if i have a piece of paper which i have previously used and now fished out of the bin so i can use the washi tape to mask off areas of the page so that then between those areas i can color them in with my pen so i'll make like a little kind of header kind of area, and then I'll use a Tombow to just colour over the top. Go grab Tombow. <clears throat> Excuse me. You just colour in, colour in, colour in, and then you just pull the washi tape up. So that then you have a nice kind of crisp line, which I usually would line that up with like the dock grid of my journal so that then like it's actually straight and stuff like that. But it's just a little bit neater. Because if I did this, but just as a straight line, like, it's okay. But 
it's just really not. I think this pen is uh, a little bit sad. It needs a little bit of, uh, shake the ink out, a little bit of love. So, yeah, not ideal. Oh, let's see. If you have space, you can bring the discard pile to go wild and give it away there. Yeah, I probably could. I I might see, um, depends on, like, effectively what ends up in the, go the, the goodbye pile. But if there's anything that's kind of, like, worth bringing overseas, I would probably do. Oh, alrighty, a question for help. Just got your first Archer and Olive, and I'm a bit disappointed as the grids do not line up within the space. Do you think it's worth to send feedback to the ANO? It's always worth sending feedback. Like, I think that, that that can be said for pretty much any company. Like, unless it was, like, absolutely apocalyptically trash, and you're just like, I don't even have the time of day to deal with these people. Um, I think that if you have a problem with kind of anything that you get from a company, most of the time, if you raise an issue, like, you know, in a polite way, not, like, a full-blown, like this is your fault and everything is awful and I'm going to boycott your company. But like, if you're raising it in it as a genuine, like, Hey, I got this. I'm not happy. Here's why. I think that that's always valuable information for people to have. Like they're always done in a respectful manner, but I do think that it's, it's a good idea to do that. Uh, let's see. Um, what was I doing? I lost my train of thought. Okay. The silver one, I kept it because it's silver and I kind of like metallics, but it's not shiny enough for me. So it looks a little bit more tin man than it does. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the kind of silver I'm looking for has as a descriptor. Uh, let's see. I put that there. We have like this blue, it's fine, but it's not a kind of blue that I gravitate towards. So we'll just put that there. This tower is getting kind of tall, and, and it's making me worry. But it's okay. We're gonna we're gonna find a box after we do these ones. We'll find a box for it, so it's a little bit safer. Um, I do like this pink grid, so I'm gonna put this pink grid in the yes pile. <laughs> like I was like, is it a maybe? I'm like, no. You you. I feel like I have actually used that one more recently. I used it as part of my April setup back in 2021, and I know that was a while ago, but, you know. Yeah, I think that, that that's the thing. I've always found that Archer and Olive's customer service has been very good from my personal experience with them, uh, so I do think it, it would be worthwhile um, hitting them up about it. Because it really sucks when your line, like, your dot grid doesn't line up across both pages. <laughs> it's really frustrating, especially when you're trying to do a um, monthly calendar. Let's see. Um, I'm going to show you. And I mean, this is kind of like low-key spoilers because I uh, was not going to show this until later. And I think I'm going to need to like cover over some of this before I actually show you. So I'm just going to find a post-it note because private information and X, Y, Z, A, B, C, D. Eh, my post-it notes are all in here behind my microphone though. So I'm trying to be careful. I'm trying to make sure that my microphone doesn't fall over because that would be loud and nobody wants to hear that. Um, so later this week, I have a video coming out, which is um, about my go wild travel planner kind of thing and like what I'm putting in that. So that's already a spoiler for some of you. Some of you wouldn't know that already. Um, <laughs> but as part of that, I have set up like different pages about my um, like accommodation and my travel details and that kind of thing. So I don't want to don't want to necessarily share that on the internet because as much as I love sharing with you guys, there are some things you guys just don't need to know. Um, but I managed to stuff up on like the second page of my journal. So I uh, was like, I'm in I'm like, can I fix this? No, realistically, I can't. So I ended up cutting a page out. Um, and because I had to cut the, the full page out, I ended up just cutting out like a full sheet kind of a thing. But it means that the dot grid across these two pages, you can probably tell, like just does not line up at all anymore. Like it's almost a full half box away. But when you want to do a banner at the top and you want it to go the full way across, that can make it a little bit tricky. <laughs> so I effectively just like laid the washi tape down to line up correctly on this side of the page and then just took it the whole way across. So... At least it looks right, even though it's actually kind of like not quite lined up. <laughs> but it's still cute. Anyways, this is spoilers. You'll see this later. Wait, we're putting this away. And I'm getting distracted. Oh my gosh. What's the distraction count? Like way too high? Alrighty, it's drink break time. Tink. And also kind of like clearing my throat time because... 
I don't know. Like, I do this to myself. I really should just wake up earlier for these streams because, like, whenever I wake up in the morning, I'm just like, I'm a gremlin. And then I have to, I say I have to, as if it's like some big struggle. And then I come onto the live and it's like my first kind of talking period for the day. So my throat's just like, nope, I'm going to protest this. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to get like all manked up road anywho do you have any plans to meet up with the locals while you're at go wild yes i do i'm planning on doing like kind of like a little meetup kind of thing on the sunday um I, I still need to find a place for it um and i know people have offered really good um kind of suggestions about going to the libraries and things like that and that you can kind of like hire out a space for free there but you need a library card and I'm not from Washington DC so I don't have a library card so I'm like if there's anybody in Washington DC who wouldn't mind booking me a space at the library then like I would be eternally grateful and I'll like get you a present <laughs> but yeah I'm not too sure yet we just need to find a place for it but yes if you do have any suggestions of where we can meet up in Washington DC that is not super super spenny that is like I don't know what's the word not a library <laughs> like, not to say I have anything against the library it's just more that like I can't book the library um or if you want to book the library for me you let me know anywho I don't need this pink one we can put that away like it's funny because I said I like all the solid colors but like literally I said this tower is the solid colors now <laughs> Put that down there. Same, same. Ooh, green dots. Nope. <laughs> like, I, again, I kept you because you were dots, but I've kind of, like, slowly getting over my, my dot thing. The issue is that these dots are really, really cute, so I'm going to have to keep those ones. Do I need to keep both? No, I don't. But I want, but I won't. <laughs> I'm doing the good thing. I don't need all the dots. I just need some of the dots. All right, the black one, 100%. Yes, we will keep that. This is like literally the reason that I bought the entire set. So we'll put that away. You're a couple of hours away. Yeah. I am, um, well, hey, if you want to come to DC, you want to come see us, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be on the dot, 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 5th of March from 1 p.m. DC time. <laughs> Whatever time that, that ends up being. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have this one, which is from the Simply Gilded collaboration with Archer and Olive, and it's got like a simple grid on it. Um, it almost looks like an embossed grid. I don't know how visible it is, but I don't think I will use it, so I'm going to put that over there. This one is from the washi tape shop, and instantly, like as soon as it's from the washi tape shop, I'm like, I must hold on to this tape. It is the most precious thing ever, but I am actually going to keep this just because I really like the little pumpkins. <laughs> They're like super cute. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh my god. Yeah, big risk of being very cold. Yeah, I think that it's going to be chilly. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit, I don't know, not necessarily like worried. Ew you away um but I'm, I'm oh maybe a little I guess worried could be the right word we'll put this away too I don't want this one um because I don't really have varied clothes in terms of like things that you would wear in warm versus cold weather but we're also going to Orlando on our trip so I'm like I need Orlando style weather wear and then DC style weather wear so I'm like hmm we will see how do you confidently say that you oh god I missed it that you aren't going to use the tape. Um, mainly from past experience. <laughs> like I've been doing bullet journaling for a while. <laughs> Let's say like five or six years, say. Uh, so I have kind of a track record to go from there. Um, I don't really use a lot of washi tapes in my uh, journal. But also because I've been journaling for so long, I know in particular what I like and I usually only gravitate towards what I like. So that makes it a little bit easier to say what I do and don't use. Um, so for instance, like this guy here, like I like stripes. I think stripes are really cute, but I don't typically use a blue color palette that is like featuring this blue. Um, I mean, like technically I used one that was fairly similar in January, but having stripes in that setup wouldn't have been something that I would have thought to use at all. Um, I guess it's one of those things of like, you know, knowing what you have so that you can actually use it. But I'm not going to be gravitating towards that one because I'm not usually going to use a color palette like that. And if I am using a color palette like that, stripes isn't really what I'm looking for. Yeah. Ooh, you're going to go through your stationery cover today. How exciting. For reference, it is a uh, holiday here in 
New Zealand, it is Waitangi Day. So happy Waitangi Day, uh, which means that it is a day off. Um, well, I mean, a day off for people who work a regular job question mark i don't know i have i got i've got a regular job um but yeah i i bet it never stops so i am i'm here quote working today but i really don't consider this work this is fun this is like time with friends so this one is kind of like a pink leopardy print kind of one and i know that i'm not going to use it in my journal but again it was from archer and olive so it has that whole like pulls up from the paper really well type thing so it's really good for masking so he 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 we're gonna put that into the masking bucket which we will eventually go through but not not right now i have two of the black and white stripe i will keep this one <laughs> and this one can go over there uh this red one i got from rachel really recently because i just thought the color was so stinking beautiful um but it's a very glossy tape but I think I'm still going to keep this one. I might put it in the maybe pile because I'm not I'm not really sold on getting rid of it just yet. The end has turned under itself though. I'm, I haven't kept it long enough to know if I'm going to use it almost. So I'm going to put that out. Have I counted it? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, um, I probably should have counted before we started. Maybe. That maybe could have been a thing that I would have woken up earlier in the morning for. But I didn't wake up early in the morning. So I haven't counted it. I would also... I know that there are some people whose washi tape stash is like... I don't even know. Like like a full wall of washi kind of a thing so I'm not even anywhere in the realm of competing with that not to say that like we should be aspiring to have such a stash of things that it takes up a full wall in our house I mean you know if you're a washi tape enthusiast then power to you go for your life uh but it's just yeah I um I I, I wouldn't need that much because I don't use that much but yes so uh this one is cute I don't know if I really want to keep it though like the thing I love the little gold foiling and the dots I'm just thinking do I actually like the color of the tape enough to warrant keeping it I think I need, I need that piece of paper back so I can kind of see what it looks like on paper because this is the thing it's very hard sometimes to tell on the roll what something looks like um so you kind of have to stick it down and and really see it's kind of like a dark blue but it's like a warm dark blue I don't think you guys can see it let's see does that kind of show up? Does it show up now? I don't even know. Um, I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. Nope, I'm going to put it in the discard pile. I'm being decisive. Yay! My chicken down Heath. Yay! <laughs> this one, I... See, I, I know I've used it previously. So I've obviously, you know, used it somewhat. But I don't think I'm going to use it again. And I'm not. Yeah, yeah, the, that blue one is very much like a starry night kind of thing. It's very, very pretty. Um, but I, it's been in the drawer long enough and I haven't used it. So I'm like, am I going to use it, guys? Now you're. I was doing so well. <laughs> that was not your fault. That's me and my personal indecisive brain. Um, so let's see. We've got this kind of like. I like the size of this washi tape. And I think that it's nice to have a pastel, and I do really like the stars. I'm going to put it in the maybe, just because, yeah, constantly plugging the December book club book. I'm going to put it in the maybe pile, just because I do think that there is a possibility that I'd use it again. Okay. These dots, like, I love polka dots so much. But I think... I might have to let this one go only because like you see how there's no dot here where I feel like there should be a dot here it might be a little bit hard to tell but um I feel like the spacing on this means that there should be a dot there and there's no dot there or maybe like this should be lined up better so I'm gonna put it in this pile here and then we have the pink kind of it's not quite a glitter tape it's again from the Archer and Olive collaboration with the um what's the one called I know who they are simply gilded and it's got like the little bows and I like it's cute but I'm not really a fan of bows I mean there are some people who have like hella bow tape and I'm like I'm glad you like it but it's not really for me I think it's one of those things that I'd probably prefer this if it was just the pink kind of glittery kind of stuff and not the bows. So we're going to put that here. Now, 
we made promises that we were going to find a box for this, especially because as the towers get bigger, it's going to be really hard to like keep the focus of the camera right. So we're just going to we're going to drop you down here for one thing. We'll just push you to the side because I don't I want you ruining things. We're going to need to find something to store all of this stuff in that isn't my box of general sadness. So one moment, one moment caller. I will be right back. Don't forget, during these times, we should have a drink break too. Tick. But I've found this Tombow box <laughs> because literally I got rid of all the boxes in my office. So I'm just going to put them in here and, and I think that's going to be okay for now. But yeah. Mm -mm. I'm going to put this in here. Goodbye. Goodbye, tapes. Oh, oh no. Massacre. But I'm, I'm very glad to be getting rid of the... Uh, the little ones because it's like it's one of those things that I was just very attached to them and I don't I don't I don't need to to keep those ones I do have some in the key pile already um out of the ones we've looked at I have these ones which are the kind of I don't know seven millimeter size washies but these guys are getting kept from that set and we've got like the black one and like these ones here and then I have some of the thin washies I've kept one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the thin washies, which is such a decrease in my amount of thin washi tape. So yay me, woot. And then I also have decided to keep the full rainbow set of the watercolor ones, because although we are avoiding the cheerleader effect, I actually like all of these tapes individually. So I'm going to keep them. I just really like the kind of watercolor pattern. Now, my camera has decided that everything is yellow and I'm not really too sure how to fix that. So we're just going to roll with it. So apologies if the color looks a little bit off. It is not my intention, but it is the way it is, it seems. What type of tape are we going to look at next? Hmm. <laughs> so I guess we could just go through and look at my, like, I don't know, the, the 1.5 centimeters. I think that that's probably the most reasonable kind of set to look at. I am just going to push these guys to the side here it's just so that then we have a little bit more space for these ones. Just like, yeah, come back here. We're trying to do stuff with you. Um, so that's all of these ones. Okay, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a proviso on this. I'm going to get out all of the ones that are 1.5 centimeters that aren't part of a like another set, I guess you could say. Um, so for instance, let's see, I know I've got one in here somewhere. I'm probably not going to be able to find it, but there are some sets that I have from whether it be like the washi tape shop or like, uh, notebook therapy or something like that, that they kind of, I don't necessarily want to consider them all together, but I, uh, I, I would rather kind of look at them together. I don't know how to word it. <laughs> We're just going to say that I'm going to look at those when I, when I look at those ones. Um, the cheerleader effect for anybody who missed it is effectively when you look at a set of things together and collectively they look good. So when we look at this, it's like, you know, it's all in rainbow order and that kind of just makes it look a little bit more pretty and appealing. Uh, whereas if you kind of just consider them individually, like for instance, if we took this individual yellow tape, you might be like, okay, this random stripe here doesn't seem to match up with the rest of them. Um, you know, is this color by itself actually one that I like? That kind of thing. But then when you see them all together, you're like, oh, what a pretty rainbow. It's so gorgeous. So to avoid the cheerleader effect, we try and individually look at the tapes um, and say like, as an individual tape, do I actually like you? Like, do I like your pattern? Do I like your color? Do you have the right stickability? All of that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, so some of them we are looking at as individuals. If they stop rolling away, and then some of them we will actually just consider as, as full sets because I'd rather just keep the set together for my own you know, peace of mind. And it could be that, like, you know, there are a couple of tapes that you would just use together. Uh, so that that is something to kind of consider. But I don't have heaps of those from memory. Okay, you're part of a you're part of a set, so we'll put you to the side. Where are my tapes? My tapes that are small. 
small, small, small tapes, which aren't actually that small. They're actually just the, the regular, quote, regular size washi. <laughs> Leaf would help to stop them from rolling away. I know, right? He would have been so useful. I, I don't I honestly don't think that I've eaten Leaf yet either. Like I think that Leaf is still just sitting in my um regular bag of of uh <laughs> condiments, I guess. I mean, it's technically my emergency bag. <laughs> the burgundy grid, this one. Let's see, I've got two of them. Those ones are pretty pretty. I apologize if my voice gets really kind of faint when I turn away because I've like got the two um, sets of drawers that have the washi tape over to the side here. So I'm just like flipping over, can I find them? Pulling them back, flipping over, can I find them? Pulling them back. All right, let's see. We're doing a quick scan. Know you're part of the set. Know you're part of the set. Thankfully, I've kept a good chunk of them in the sets that they come in, so it's not so bad to find them, but some of them are certainly not with their buddies, uh, which is not super, super helpful. And that one, and oop, 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 these ones, and I need to find something to stick you together. The, the washi tape shop ones come with a paper backing a lot of the time, so this one has lost his sticker, which means he's not really staying together which I'm just going to pull off one of these like washi stamps and <clears throat> stick them together with a washi stamp. <laughs> these washi stamp stickers are actually really cool. I actually really like those. I'll just stick that. There we go. So hopefully it stays together in the drawer. We won't have roll away problems. Uh, oh, there we go. Those two together. And this one as well. I think that's probably all of them. Nope, I lied. <laughs> We've got this one as well. And yeah, it's again the kind of thing that when they're all like in the lines together, it's just very hard to see. So we'll start with this stash at least. So upon a first glance, is there anything that stands out as I don't want to keep you? Yes, I don't. Ugh. This one, oi, this one came as part of the messy and bright box from Archer and Olive last, last Christmas. Um, and I kept it because I thought it would make for like a fun theme, but I'm, I'm not going to do a theme like this. Let's be honest. So that one can go again because it's from Archer and Olive and it has that thing where like you can pull it up from the page. We're going to, we're going to put those away. Can I center them better? Eh. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oi, come back. Come back come back what's that from where it's like the, the person with the tiny is that from titanic <laughs> like, where like rose is like saying to jack like come back but like really faintly anywho um uh let's see thank you there we go it was from titanic i remember things so one of the things that we have as an issue, again, with the whole cheerleader effect, is that I kept these tapes because they came as a set together and they look really cute together. But the issue is, is that if I'm really completely honest with myself, I don't like this color. <laughs> like this brown, it's like a kind of, it's more like a dark red burgundy color, but I really don't like it. Um, we've also got the issue of the dots being printed kind of like not centered on the tape so that's an issue so these three here at the very least are going over there i absolutely love this pattern and this pattern i just don't think i like these dots but then i'm like do i want to split up the bunch i'm doing it all right there we go fabulous these two we are keeping they're going to the keep pile over here Hoppa. decisions decisiveness yay um i have this grid and this grid and this grid looks like it's kind of like, I don't know how easy it is to tell, but it's not like a super thin grid. And it also kind of looks like, not like it was badly printed, but more it kind of looks blurry almost. Whereas this one looks very crisp and clean. So I will keep you and I will discard you. I do love the grid patterns though. Grid patterns are nice. Oh, what happened? No, I'm sorry about something that happened. I, I'm really bad at reading the chat, so I apologize for that to start with. But I'm sorry that people are having a rough time. I think it's Laura. Laura, I'm sorry you're having a rough time. Like, I can't, I can't find what happened, but people are, are saying sorry for your loss. So I'm really sorry for your loss also, but I didn't see what it was. Yeah. There we go. So, 
what do we have now? Um, yeah, the Kmart tapes are really not great to use, um, if, if I'm honest. Um, that's why I'm like kind of thinking about we're going to have to go through the uh, discard pile and probably pull some of those out because the issue I find is that the stickiness on one side of the tape like sticks to the back of the other side of the tape. So it's just like a big sticky mess, but that's, that's, that's a future us problem. We're going to do these ones first. Uh, this one I kept because again, I love that kind of sculpty pattern, but I don't, I don't use orange. So that one can, oh, I'm so sorry, Laura. That really, really is hard. And I'm, I'm hoping that we can, you know, here on the stream can kind of take your mind off it a little bit, but that is, that is something that is, is obviously just a really shit situation. Uh, this one, we've got barely any of it, but again, it's an ultra and olive type. So we're going to put it in the pile where I can use it for other stuff. Um, we had a question about what am I doing with the tapes? I think what happens to the tapes I sort out. Some of them will get, uh, donated, um, ones that are still good. Some of them will get, uh, deleted or like <laughs> discarded. So I'm going to throw those ones out if they're just not good. And, um, and then what was the other one? Donate, discard, or demote. Aha. The demotion pile is the one where they kind of start getting used for other things like masking pages. But yeah. Oh, good job, team. Everybody sending Laura virtual hugs. Because yeah, I do. One of the things that I really appreciate about, about like our community is that everybody is very supportive. Um, and, and, you know, everybody kind of knows what it's like to struggle. <laughs> so I, you know, which sounds kind of like a down buzz moment, but it's, it's, it's good to have people who even if they can't necessarily like relate to what you're going through they can kind of empathize i suppose but yeah i am going to get rid of this holographic one because although it is pretty and i do love rainbows i never use it because it is hard to use in my journal so goodbye there we go we are going to this one here is from stationary pal i think and it's like a marbled effect and although like a marbled effect is kind of cool, I don't know how much use I'm going to get out of it. I might put it in the maybe pile for now. We'll think about it later. See, everybody's sending their love and appreciation. Good job, team. How do you use stamping blocks? Do you have to ink that you... I, mm, I don't use stamps personally because I can't get stamps to go down very well. Um, it's probably one of those like, I need more practice things, but I don't have the stamps or the ink to do the practice so this one is getting kept because I love the pattern I think it is really cool it's like this kind of like dark blue waves kind of pattern so we'll put that one to the side as well there we go and I don't know if I really have much of a need for white washi tape <laughs> I might think about it some more um but it could be the kind of thing that like I want to stick in a Dutch door and I just want to be a little bit more discreet about it with the washi. So I'll put it to the side because um, that could be a maybe. The black one I am 100% keeping because I always like to have just regular black tapes and that's why I have two of them. And I will also keep the black grid because I love a good grid. It's a nice kind of, it's, a, it's a, like a very forgiving pattern, I suppose. This dark green, oh gosh, is trying to get all of my other tapes out of order this dark green is very pretty i am not going to use it though i used it in one of my videos the one about like mental mental health kind of like so that kind of thing put the white black tape on your black paper nemesis yeah black paper is the nemesis i think that that would probably be in theory what it was like i think that one day we're gonna have to try and do a full blackout journal and i would very much like to one day retry doing the um Neapolitan journal because it's one of those things that I feel like you need to do, give things like you know the good college try and try everything twice kind of a thing uh so I would like to to try doing the um the blackout journal again or like rather the Neapolitan again then possibly try a blackout journal to see if it really is my nemesis all right this tape is absolutely gorgeous and I feel like I'm not ready to let go of it yet it's actually got constellations on it which I didn't realize when I first acquired it it's this like very pretty blue and hopefully you can kind of see the constellations it's really tricky to see because the dots are very similarly sized to the actual um line work but where's the one that actually sold it to me because this sign here this guy he's the Libra uh star sign we'll just see if we can catch it in the light so you can kind of see it but there's the Libra one it's just kind of upside down and then you've got the the twins over there so I'm going to keep this one probably because it's beautiful. 
I really like the color and I like the gold foiling and although I really just looked at it and thought they were kind of gold cracks it's kind of cool that it's actually constellations so I'll put that one to the side. I feel like my discard pile so far is actually a lot bigger than I was expecting it to be but <laughs> that's cool. Yeah it's like a lapis lazuli kind of blue it's very pretty. Um, also if you need the reminder tink drink break. Yeah, I think that, like, I would like to get those stamps that you can kind of click together to make words. I think that they look really cool, uh, but I, um, at the moment, don't really, really have, this doesn't belong here. You are part of a set. Go away. Um, <laughs> I don't ha currently have those, but I would like to get them because I think they're pretty, pretty nifty. I really like the checkerboard theme, um, theme. Mm -hmm. pattern. The only issue is that I feel like this guy along the edge here is too wide. Like, I don't know if that's just my eyes playing tricks on me because it's against the thing, but it feels like this was supposed to be further to the right. Yes, I use my fingers to tell me that I'm going left or right, but this one's kind of cut off, which is fine if this one was the same width as those ones. It's not just me, right? Like you can tell. Yeah, there we go. All good. I'm not. I'm not crazy. I know what the tape is like in theory. My eyes aren't playing tricks on me. They they do often, but it's all good. Like what? Okay, I'm not. I'm not getting myself off topic, but maybe I am. So, <laughs> in my uh, long term collections journal, one of the things that I like to do is I have pages that have like the stripes kind of thing, and anytime I look at the orange one, wherever it is. I always see it as multiple colors and I know it's just my eyes playing tricks on me but I see like stripes of pink and green when I look at this not that way I see the pink and green stripes that way it's like it just kind of trips me out and I don't know if it's like a me thing or if that's just like a common phenomena or if, yeah it just weirds me out I, I don't really know how to describe it because yeah I don't know Anywho, <laughs> but this one here, this is a, a list of habits or like a master list of habits to track for whenever I'm making a habit tracker. And I'm like, what are the things I'm tracking? I'm glad that you guys see the green stripes too, because I literally thought I was going cray. <laughs> like, that's really weird, eh? I was just like, I feel like there's, there's probably kind of like some scientific ex explanation for this. But every time I turn to this page, it just makes me very like, I don't know, uneasy, I guess. Yeah, it's just it's like they kind of like, but then when you really kind of look at them, the green and the pink kind of disappears and it, you can kind of see it around where you're staring and it's just odd. But I'm glad that you guys see it too because I was kind of driving myself a little bit like, Bleh. yeah. Yeah, see, so I, I haven't had a proper migraine before. Last weekend, the weekend before one of them, I, I was like starting to get one. So I like put myself in the dark and like was wear like sitting inside wearing my moon glasses with like all of the curtains closed. <laughs> I still wanted to be at my computer though, which is why I had my moon glasses on. But um yeah, a little bit strange. Yeah, when you stare at an image and then you look away and you can kind of like see that image. Uh, or, or, um, you know, when they always say like, you know, stare at the dot in the middle of the screen and there's like something going on around the outside and then you look away and you can see something. But yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. This tape I kept because this, this tape was used in one of my most favorite weekly setups that I've like ever done. And it might just be like a nostalgia point at this stage because I'm like, if I actually look at the tape, I'm like, I don't really like the pattern. I like the palette. I thought the palette was quite pretty, but I, um, I don't think I necessarily actually like the tape as an individual. So I think we've gotten to the pie, a pond. <laughs> we're getting to the pond where I'm ready to let it go. I'm letting you go. You're gone. Goodbye tape. Okay. I'm not ready to let this go though. This was part of the Archer and Olive collaboration with the greater good, Liz from the greater good. And so she had this one and she also had the black one, where did it go? Did we already put that to the side? Did I get it out? Where? Oh, it's literally like lying face down. Come on, me. Wait, stop rolling away. Um, <laughs> you see, that's the thing. They all have to sit up. Otherwise, I don't know what, what one's what. Now, can I actually get the tape off this one? But this one was pretty cool because it's like a clear tape, but it's got like this kind of like drip. And I think it's cool as heck. I haven't found an excuse to use it yet, but I don't think that I can get rid of it yet. 
Um, so I'm going to be keeping this one. Yeah, see, this is the thing. I don't really suffer from migraines, but then I had, like, a couple kind of migraine-esque symptoms last week, and I'm just like, I, I need to do something about this quick, because otherwise it's just going to end up being a bit of a, a nightmare for me. And I'm like, I have things I want to do today. I refuse. But I managed to get ahead of the kind of symptomy bit, so I'm hoping, like, you know, I'm hoping it happened, it's gone, it's done. I think I got ahead of it, so it wasn't really a problem. This one was another one from the Simply Gilded set, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe it wasn't. No, it is. It literally says it on the middle. Isn't that helpful? Yay. See, that's what we need. More tapes to actually tell you where the tape is from in the middle, so that then when you go to, like, get more of it, you know where it was from. Ah, uh, yeah. See, I think the black one would go really well in, in the, um, the, the holiday kind of Halloween holiday-esque kind of theme. Um, yeah, it would be nice if it was not the shiny material, but it is still pretty cool. But yeah, this is another one that has the little bows, and I'm not, like, really a fan of bows. And if I'm using floral washi, because floral washi is something that I don't typically gravitate towards, if I'm using floral washi, I want it to be the very wide one, uh, like this kind of wide, so that then I can use it more decoratively. Um, I find that kind of size a little bit easier to use in this one. So this one and this one, both from Archer and Olive, both patterns that I'm not really going to use. So they can go and they can go. <laughs> All of these are going to go into the bucket of I will use you to mask my page because I trust these tapes to mask the page well without ripping the paper. Yeah, see, that's very smart. Britta's onto it, guys. You know, we, we should we should take heed of this. You know, marking the tapes on the inside or something to tell us where we got them from, so that then when you want to get more, you know where to go. It's just it's just easier. It just makes sense. Um yeah, you want that tape set so much. Yeah. I, I am I'm interested to see, like, because obviously we're going to go through my regular tapes and then we're gonna go through that one possibly, if we get onto it, because Jess takes a while to do things. Um, see which ones end up in the discard pile. This one I, like, love the pattern of, but the color is really hard to match with anything that I have in terms of pens, so I think I'm at the point where I'm ready to let this tape go. Thank you for being here. So that idea of, like, the KonMari, you have to, like, thank it for being part of, part of your stash. Thank you for serving the purpose you did in my life, and now I'm ready to put you over there decluttered. This one is very much the same. Like, I've already decluttered you once, my friend, so <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> um, these guys I kept because they had dots, and I obviously use the gold a lot more than I use the pink, but I think I'm also ready to let those ones go, too. There we go. I'm very impressed with myself. <laughs> I'm just, like, just gonna take a moment to pat myself on the back, because I'm getting rid of a lot more than I thought I was going to. I thought this was gonna be a declutter where I got rid of, like, four things. So this one is from the Archer and Olive set um, with Simply Gilded, but it's the little stars, and I think I'd be much more inclined to actually use this in my journal. So this one is just going to go in the keep pile rather than the uh, demoted kind of pile. Some of them we are just demoting as we go. Uh, this one has, this was one of like my very first washi tapes, so I think there's like a nostalgia point um, with regards to that. Like it was... It was, yeah, essentially one of the first ones I got, and I got it because it had, like, the dots, and I'm like, I like the kind of sporadic nature of it, and we've got the foiling, like, look at that shine. But, um, yeah, I don't, it's okay to keep one for nostalgia reasons, right? Like, that's okay, we can do that, we can keep one of them. We're gonna put you in the maybe pile because we'll see what I think about later. But yeah, okay. Mm, no, <laughs> like I love polka dots, but that tape is not a good quality tape. This one I kept because I thought that the pattern was really cool. Um, and it might be really kind of hard to see. Let's see if we can, come on camera, focus like a beauty blogger. But you can see the kind of like very, very pale pink on top of a regular pale pink. Um, if you have a nostalgia, then take a picture to remember. Yeah, no, I, I do I do that when I declutter, like, larger items, like T-shirts and stuff that had, you know, some kind of significance. Um, I could probably do that for washi tapes, too. I mean, technically speaking, the washi tape has been used in my journal, so I could just do it from there. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile because I'm not ready to let go of it yet because I do like the pattern and the color is not offensive, but I don't quite know if I want to keep it yet. Um, this one I kept because I, again, really liked the color palette. 
Um, and I do like the kind of like the gold foiling of it. I don't know how much I'd use it, but it is super pretty. It's kind of like, it reminds me of a geode or like a kind of gemstone-y kind of thing, but I, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. am I just getting suckered in? I think I'm just getting suckered in. <laughs> like, will you actually use this tape is a good question. I feel like I know in my heart of hearts that I probably wouldn't, but it is really pretty. <laughs> Not going to do it. Put it away. Goodbye. Goodbye. This one I got as part of a set and I've gotten rid of every other tape in the set, but I used this for my starter journal setup last year. And it's this kind of like wood grain pattern that has a, like some gold stripes through it, which is actually quite cute. I'll put it in the maybe pile because it is very pretty, but I just, I'm not too sure if I'm actually going to use it. So I'll put that over here. These ones, see, this is hard because anytime I want a super metallic-y gold, I like, I gravitate towards this. And you can see that it's very much almost done because I have used it pretty much to death. Like how much tape do we even actually have on here? Oh, uh, we've got some. Okay, that, that's how much tape I have left on this. Like not even a real ruler's worth. And it is very shiny. It's very pretty. So I do use this typically when I, um, <laughs> Monica's yoinking. <laughs> um, I do typically use the, uh, this gold whenever I have something that I want to add like a gold highlight to where I don't want to put paint on the paper, um, for any whip twat reason, mainly because I want like a consistent gold color. Um, the stickability of this tape isn't necessarily great and I really don't have a lot of it. So I probably could let this go. I also used these colors here when I did my, um, well, bisexual pride flag theme, uh, last year. So the love is love potions, which I, ugh, this is a beautiful color. Like I love this color. I think it's really, really pretty. I also really love this one. This one I'm not as sold on individually but together as a three I really like it and that's where it's tricky because it's like if I use it as a three I would warrant keeping this but if I was just going by color alone I would only really keep these two mm, I don't dislike the rose gold like kind of it's it's more of a it's not quite a bronze it's more of a rose gold I'm just like we'll just put that oh my god it didn't go in the bucket that was a sign okay no put it in the bucket you can go too silver I will keep one of the silvers I'll keep you I'll keep you three. I just, I just, I just, I just. <laughs> also probably doesn't help that like this part has like parts of the color ripped off the top of it. So if we kind of look at it as a whole. <laughs> this is another issue with this tape is that it's hard to rip. I'm going to put you in the maybe pile. Alrighty, you are in the maybe pile. But the, the pink and the purple and one of the silvers can stay. Yeah. Is this what the cheerleader effect? I like this. Cheerleader effect warning. Bee, 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 bee. That's the thing. Okay. Anytime I start looking into it like it's the cheerleader effect, you guys have to put like a little alarm emoji or something. I'm sure we can find an alarm emoji. Do I have an alarm emoji? I need to go find this. All right. Let's see. Okay. Well, an alarm emoji is either a clock, which just doesn't look quite right. I don't think that's quite what I'm looking for. Or <laughs> I need like, I don't know. A bell, maybe? There we go. Yeah, the, the little siren emoji, see, because I don't know where to find it. <laughs> so anytime you guys find that I'm, like, falling into the cheerleader effect, you guys need to put the little siren so that I can be, like, back to reality. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes. Anyways, another check. Did we already look at this one and I just didn't set it aside? I'm going to keep it. Even though we've got that extra part on the side, I can trim it down and I still like the actual kind of chessboard. <laughs> That's a hockey fawn for me. <clears throat> kind of thing. Um, so just for, you know, again, if anybody was missed out on the cheerleader effect thing, um, the cheerleader effect is when you start to consider items like all together rather than separately. And when you consider them together, you have like a more favorable kind of feeling about them effectively. So the, the stock standard example we're using is the idea of like, as the rainbow, oh, so beautiful, but you have to go through each of the tapes individually and say, am I actually going to use this? Like, do I like this color as an individual rather than as part of the rainbow? That's the kind of thing. All right. Oh, good night, Sophia. Thank you for being here while you could be. Um, so the caution tape one, I like, this is another one that was one of my like kind of 
first tapes that I got so there's probably like a bit of a nostalgia factor here but I actually like I don't use it in my journal I more use it as kind of a humor kind of thing uh so I am probably gonna keep it one day I would really love to do and I think I've talked about this before with you guys but just in case you haven't like missed the, the, the memo on it I really want to do a bullet journal setup that's like a it's like a crime scene theme but more like a mystery theme so it's like throughout the pages of the setup there's little bits and pieces of like hints and clues and stuff like that and we we like solve a mystery together effectively well like I mean I don't get to solve the mystery because you know you guys um you guys know that I, I plan my journal themes out a lot so it would have to be like I plan all the stuff out but then in watching it you guys could like solve a little mystery kind of a thing is is something I would do I think it'd be really cool um yeah, there we go. See, that's the thing. You you just need to, like, get rid of the things because the cheerleader effect will get you. Like, this black and white stripe one, the stripes are very, like, I like the black of the stripe. I think the stripe's blackness is very appealing. But this tape is also really tricky to get up. It's hard to get it up. So, oh, yep, that pull-off is tight and to the point of like the tape is now officially ripped on the side so I think that this one is probably one that could probably just go in the bin but it might be somebody's cup of tea so yeah like essentially like an Agatha Christie book kind of thing it would be cool as heck so it's like a murder mystery type thing or like you know some kind of like crime scene like who stole Jess's d stash washi tape <laughs> it was probably Monica <laughs> I'm kidding Monica I love you I'm sorry it was mean so that one is now in the bucket of bucket, uh, but I um I might be the kind of one that like nobody really wants it, which is fine. It's okay. I mean, you know, it's that idea of like people have like different tolerances for things that they are willing to be okay with with their tapes. For me, this one is like a absolutely not. You should go in the bin, but somebody else might like it, so we'll just put it. We'll just put it in there. Um, this one I kept. I think probably for the pattern and for the color because it is very pretty I like the rose gold on it and I like the kind of like little triangles and stuff but it would be the kind of thing that I feel like I'd have to make an entire theme around <laughs> Rachel and Emily not you yeah okay let's be honest it's probably them <laughs> um so this one is probably going to go into the bucket of demotion because it has that kind of like bad stickability I suppose um the one that like doesn't really stick super well I don't know where it came from I think that I probably got this off Rachel but yeah see on Monica's point what I like is when like Rachel declutters a washi tape so I take it off her but then I declutter the washi tape and then she takes it back she's like oh that's pretty so it's like very much just just a cycle of rehoming kind of a thing okay so so far this is our D pile so things that are getting like discarded or you know um demoted or donated is effectively what they are so I've got a bunch of different ones in here this is where we're at in terms of the maybes pile oh my gosh massacre massacred the maybe pile there we go so we've got these guys here in the maybe pile we've got these ones here which are maybes, and then we've got all of the glitter washies, which again, I don't know, I'm just looking at it from the cheerleader effect, but I'm just gonna leave them there, it's okay, we're doing all right, there we go, so we'll put that, put that over there, go away, and then in terms of the ones that we're actually keeping, that pile is a little bit bigger, so we're not gonna, we're not gonna pull that one over, but now what, dun dun dun, I, I, oh, okay, so, I actually don't really know where to go from here because outside of this one I think it's just like having to consider them all in sets but also considering them in sets as individuals so it's like a weird kind of way of doing things I think what we're gonna do is we're going to try and pull out all of the tapes that are like wider but not part of a set oh look here we missed one already this one is I, I love this tape though we're keeping this this is one of the 1.5 yeah I totally started with all the easy ones and now I need to get onto the hard ones I was getting a poll <laughs> I think that I think that for this one um we're probably just going to go with the tapes that are okay so for reference I have things like this which like very much obviously in a set they're all part of the same kind of 
know, they came in a pack together. They were purchased as one thing. Um, so I would like to kind of keep those together as I as I do our little decluttering type thing. But I think that I'm going to go through and I'm going to pull out all of the ones that are individual tapes that are like these guys here. They're individual, like, like they're purchased by themselves. Um, this one was purchased by itself. This one was wider, but it was part of a set, but it was like one of those like co combination sets kind of a thing. Um, let's see. What else came as part of a individual tape? Mm. You, but you haven't even been used. <laughs> uh, I think you came as part of a set. Gosh, this is the hard thing. It's just like trying to remember where all of these tapes came from um, because they all got higgledy pigledy up. Like you're an individual tape. Uh, I mean, these guys were part of a set, but they are all so very different that I'm just going to consider them as individuals because it's just easier that way. Same idea with you. Like you, again, you were part of a set, but you are so different from the other ones that were part of that set that you guys can be considered as individuals. It's okay. That one. Oi, what the heck? I turned away for one second and you guys are trying to run away. Stop it. <laughs> stop, stop all. Um, you're a set. You were different enough that you can be considered as an individual. You were different enough that you can be considered as an individual. Um, all right. Nope, 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 nope. You are part of that set. See, yeah. <laughs> it's almost as if somebody could have done a better job of organizing this before she got here. Shh. As I mentioned at the start, Vogel and I just took a weekend away because um, his cousin was getting married down in Nelson. So it's like, you know, part of the South Island. We're part of the North Island. Um, so uh, we just got back yesterday, which means that I don't necessarily have my life in order right now. I'm effectively just pulling out any tapes here that I can kind of consider as individuals. Like, I know that this was part of the Halloween set, but the tapes in the Halloween set that I'm looking at were all so different to each other that it's like okay to consider them individually in my personal opinion um you uh you oh clunk oh my gosh good hack to me initial yeah that sounds good Alrighty, for anybody who gets to this point refresh your page just in case because you might not be up to date um we want to make sure that you're part of the live stream while we're like at the same point because I think we talked about it last time. Sometimes when I'm watching a live stream, I forget that it's live and I pause and then um, I get kind of out of sync. And so I'm watching like five minutes ago where everybody else actually is. So when I start typing things in the chat, they don't really make sense. So it's like, hmm. Um, let's see. We have, oh, see, because all of the ones from the, this, I think all of these were kind of from the same set. They're all like this vintage rose kind of thing from uh, Notebook Therapy. And all the tapes I feel are like different enough that you could consider them as separate individual things. I almost need to, as I'm going through, actually pull out the tapes that are part of a set so that I can find them more easily again next time. Because like all of these guys were part of the same set. Let's see, right, we've gotten to the standing point now because, you know, this is the business. Like, that guy can technically be by himself. That one can be technically by himself. Uh, that one can be considered possibly by himself. Like, those ones are the Halloween ones. But, like, a soft spot for the Halloween one, which is also tricky. <laughs> those ones are stickers. Um, stickers. That one can possibly be... <clears throat> okay, we're going to pull out those ones. This one's going to get pulled out. We're also, yeah, entering the realm of the washi tape shop washies, which is dangerous into itself because I have a big soft spot for their tapes. Um, so we'll see how much I can bring myself to get rid of with respect to that. But I think that I'm feeling optimistic. I think that we've been doing a very good job so far. So, you know, could you use the washi holders to hold the sets or would they not fit? Um, these ones are too small to hold um, enough tape. Yay, back to the cool tint. That's what we wanted. Yeah, the, 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 the thing weird before. Um, 
yeah, I think that the, the tape kind of dispenser things that I have, they're a little bit too small to hold my uh, sets because my sets are usually from the washi tape shop and they're usually quite wide tapes. So it would be a little bit trickier. Uh, let's see. You guys all look different enough that you can be considered as individuals. Ow, 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 ow. Said the tape. It's not really hurting me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like saying ow on behalf of the tape <laughs> because the tape looks like it struggles. It struggles. I also feel like I've gotten way too many in on the desk right now. We might just need to look through these ones first. So I'm going to pull out a couple more and then we can have a look. There we go. Put you guys up here. And then we can go and have a look at the tapes that are over there now. Okay. So. And this one. Because why not? So. Oh dear. <laughs> Good night, Jay. Thank you for being here. You know, before we before we even tackle this, I think we need to have a drink break because this is obviously a bit of a stress mess. So, tink. So, I'm glad that we got our white balance back to a place that actually looks a little bit more akin to what I see rather than that kind of like moon glasses tint. So, I think the easiest way to do this is actually to start by pulling out the ones that I know that I want to keep. This one, for instance, these ones are washi tape stickers from the washi tape shop and they are so stinking gorgeous. I know we have like this very large section of none. Look at these beautiful stickers. Aren't they amazing? But if we keep going, they've got this like gold foiling on them with this green and oh, like these make for such a beautiful um, like monthly setup. So easy. So gorgeous. Uh, I did them in the giveaway journal actually. Um, they're so beautiful uh and because they're stickers they just pull off as individual pieces and then you can like use them for headers or just like page decoration or like whatever else and the gold foiling on them is absolutely beautiful so this one 100 keeping because i do very much love these i really need to possibly like find a replacement for this little piece of tape because it is not sticking as well as it could um but we will put it to the keeping side the pile of keep a pile of keep. Um, these ones with the little stamps, I am very, very taken with. They're kind of like already pre kind of, I don't know, cut out on the sides. It might be a little hard to see them, but you just kind of pull them across here and then it's like a little stamp that you can stick into your journal. This one's like Flor de Cactus. I don't, I don't know if that looks like a cactus, but I still think it's very cute. So these ones can be kept and these ones can be kept. I put them in as like decoration when I do the, um, not so much in my journal, not yet, until I do a theme that's kind of, you know, related to that. But I'll put them into, uh, like, page decoration for part of my, um, like, ideas video and stuff like that. It's actually amazing. Use washi tape to help stick it down. Yeah, I probably will. At the moment, it's just, like, a piece of washi tape that was already on it. But because it's been pulled up and put down so many times, it's kind of, like, a bit of a mess. Um, so this one's, like, like, you know, little flowers on it and things like that. But, again, you just kind of pull it off. And then it's got the little rippled edge. It's really cool. I think it's a really cool idea. So I have three of those, but they're all different patterns. So they go for like different themes. So we're going to keep all of those. So that's, I think I got those ones from Stationery Pal. Um, yeah, they're like got the perforated edge. They're very, very cool. Uh, so we will be keeping these ones. We're keeping both of these. I literally got a second roll because I was using this one so much. Um, but this one is also from the washi tape shop. It's just like a simple kind of script. But you can't really tell what the words say, which is kind of nice because sometimes with uh, word washi tape, sometimes things that are said on it aren't necessarily kosher. So... Not to say that the ones that I have ever experienced have had this problem, but I know that other people have experienced that problem. Like these ones here, which is also a uh, you know, text washi, you can obviously see what it's saying. I believe it's Italian, and I believe it's talking about the biology of plants, um, because it's like saying like la sexina kind of thing, because it's talking about like parts of the plants and the idea of like, you know, the male and female parts of the plants or something like that, I think. I, th I think that's um <laughs> from what's actually on here and think from a comment that I got. But yeah, I like those written letter ones for background uh, stuff. I think this one's got like about herbs and their use in medicine and taxonomy and things. This one's kind of 
I like that I've got some different variation in terms of like the white background one and then the tan background one and then this one here like ah oh, this one's my favorite though I use this one the most but all of those ones I do use and they will be kept all right pulling out more of ones that I actually want to keep these ones are again washi tape stickers um and they are banners so you can see I like used half of one on a page but they've got little like kind of floral bits on them and um, that kind of thing, which they're pretty cool. So I will be keeping those. Um, these are the links to the lettering washi. Um, they're all like, I've got the washi tape shops link down below, but all of those lettering ones are from the washi tape shop. And remember, if you want to, you can use my discount code jashikurin10 or something like that for 10% off. I think it might just be jashi10 actually, now as I've said that. Uh, hi, Brian. Pleasure to have you here with us. Um, so yeah, like a lot of the ones we're looking at here are from the washi tape shop. Um, and that's, I think, the only link I have down below because most of my other tapes are either from like Spotlight, so you can't really get them unless you're in Australia slash New Zealand. Um, and uh, other than that, maybe AliExpress, but I got them like such a long time ago that I wouldn't be able to link them to you specifically. So sad face. Um, yeah, see, I'd say that the washi tape ones don't like necessarily count. Like, the, sorry, the washi tape stickers don't necessarily count as washi tape, but like, okay, whoa. Like, for instance, these ones, these are the doggo stickers, which are um, like, they're cute, but I don't really like animals. So, uh, I'm probably going to put these ones in the. I won't be keeping these bucket. Like I use them for Rachel's journal setup and I'm probably done with them. So this one is our first one from the washi tape shop that's actually going in the discard bucket, which feels odd. Um, so say goodbye to our, our first kind of like roll, I guess you could say from the washi tape shop. Goodbye. See you later. Bye for now. Like super cute, but like just not really my thing. So into the bucket. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Other ones that I would actually like to keep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh, this one. I love it so much. It's beautiful. Um, I don't know, like, where's it stuck? There we go, you're stuck over here. So this one is a PET tape rather than a washi tape. Uh, but it's these little houses and they're so stinking cute. Um, this one we also used in the giveaway journal. Um, so it's just like little houses in different things. So like in a vase or in a watering can or in a teacup or, you know, I think there's one that's in a boot. It's all very cute though. It makes such a cute theme and I will totally keep this because I absolutely love it. Um, there we go. So you're on my TV now. Yeah, I think that like a couple of people like to watch on their TV. I think we did a poll last time and like a lot of people watch on mobile and I was kind of surprised just because I just barely watch on my mobile, but maybe this is my generation. Uh, this one is another one that's from Archer and Olive. I think it came as part of a subscription box. I say a thing, I'm pretty sure like, like I'm like 98% sure it came as part of a subscription box. Um, so this one, I won't keep for my journal. I might keep it for masking. I'm going to put it into the demotion box. Um, just in case for anybody who was not here when we talked about the demotion box, the demotion box are these guys. So they're the tapes that I keep to do page masking rather than, um, like decoration in my journal, I guess you could say. I, I keep this one. I keep, I keep this one, uh, because it is another washi tape sticker set. They're just little labels and I use them for decoration in my videos because I don't, typically gravitate towards this type of color palette in my personal setups but I do like to use it on um my like ideas videos I guess you could say good question what is page masking so page masking is effectively where I want to put down like a block or a stripe of color or something like that, but I want it to have super, super crisp edges. So what I'll do is I'll use a tape like this one, say, which when I put it down on the page, it's very easy to pull up without ripping the paper. Um, so I put it down onto the paper um, to kind of like mask off areas that I don't want color. And then I can color 
in between the section that I do want colour, I guess you could say. Um, we had an example of it, which I may have thrown to the side. So for instance, this one here, you can see like the edges of this box are a lot kind of cleaner because we put a piece of tape above and below it and then coloured it in. Whereas this one here, I know it's having a hard time focusing. But hopefully you can kind of see what I mean. This one here was just a stripe of color and we've got some kind of unevenness around the edges and it's not like perfectly straight and that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, PET tape, I I assume is just like a plasticky kind of tape. Like it's the one that's very um, like shiny, I guess. So this one, it's not printed on a paper tape. It's printed on a kind of like plasticky kind of tape. Um, I will say that the nice part about the PET tape though is that it um, blends in with the page really well. Like if you stick this down on white paper, it actually, you know, provided you've kind of trimmed around the outside edge of the, the decorative parts, um, it blends into the paper and kind of just looks like you drew it on the page, which is kind of cool. Um, you know, so it makes a very nice decoration. Um, so that's one of the PET tapes I have. I also have a couple of others that are even in the stash. So we've got the one that was from the uh, Year of the Rabbit set from uh, the Washi Tape Shop, which has so many different decorations on it. It's actually perfect for a monthly setup because you have a really long, <laughs> what I think we call like the design loop or whatever. Uh, so we've got heaps of different pictures on this one, got like your piggy and your person with the lantern, person with the shopping bag, person given a gift, we've got the rabbit, we've got the cat and the rabbit and the couple and the year of the rabbit kind of label and you can tell that it's plasticky because I can assume you can hear this, right? But it doesn't actually feel sticky, like when you feel it, it's just mainly because it's just packed together really well. There's like heaps of different designs on here. So it's really good for a monthly setup. The thing is though, is that if you were gonna use a year of the rabbit setup, you probably don't need quite as much tape or you know, you might wanna use it for a different kind of, um, different kind of project rather than just in your journal. Cause unless you use like hella pages or like hella decoration, there is a lot of this tape to use up, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, very much what Mel, Annie, Annie, Mel, and me. Well, whatever Mel said, Mel and me, that makes sense. Haha, -ha, I understand things. She lied. Yeah, year of the rabbit in the next 12 years. You can use it like, you can use it for every year of the rabbit in your lifetime because there's just so much here. <laughs> but um, yeah. Ooh, we can get matte PET tape, can we? See, the thing is, is that like, I find that once you trim away the outside edges of the kind of sticker sections, the PET tape really isn't that bad. Like it's only really super shiny when it's in direct sunlight. Outside of that, it's actually just really like beautifully gorgeous. So you can kind of see that when I hold it in a specific direction, you get the reflection. But outside of that, it's actually just I don't know. It looks cute. I like it. Anywho, I don't need two rolls of this. I think that even just this one that I have left is probably enough. So I'm going to put this one like a full unused roll, which I feel kind of bad about because again, like it's from the washi tape shop. So I know that it's like super high quality, but we're going to have to put this into the discard pile. Goodbye. <laughs> it hurts my soul. Um, Alrighty, this is another one from the washi tape shop, and this one is saying it's having Valentine's Day on it. And it has text on it, so I'm instantly not going to use it. Because if I want a text-based tape, I want it to be the kind of like big background kind of text, not little slogans. So I'm gonna... <laughs> it feels bad because I know that you're good quality, but I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, let's see. What else do I have here that I know that I want to keep? I want to keep this one because I love the black with the little gold hearts. And they're like super shiny and very cute. Yay. I think that having all of these just be individual tapes by themselves is making my decision making process a lot easier because it's very much like a, will I use this? Yes or no? Check in whichever pile it needs to go. Like this guy here, I don't want to keep this because I'm not really a florals person. And if I am a florals person, it's more like this kind of florals, you know, where you have like colored designs and, and, and things like that. So this one I will keep 
because this is another PET tape that's really good for decoration in my journal. But uh, the other one, this guy, I will say goodbye to. I know that you're for somebody, but you're not for me. Uh, some of these PR items, yes. I, um, I would be a lot less inclined <laughs> to probably discard as many as I am if I had paid for all of these. It's one of those, like, like the sunk cost fallacy or whatever I think it's called, where it's like, you know, when you put time or effort into something, you're more likely to, like, see it through kind of a thing. Some of these, uh, if I had have paid for them myself, I would have been like, no, we will find a use for them. But I'm like, well, maybe the use for them could just be to go and make somebody, somebody else's life a little bit brighter, I guess we could say. Um, so, yeah, the washi tape shop. I don't think this is one of the ones they shared with me. I think I did buy this one myself uh, because it was part of a set where I really wanted another part of the set um let's see i think i could probably go find it let's where's my where's my keyboard um so we'll see if i can actually find this one but i think this one was part of a set that came with a um either like a map i don't think it was the map one though because i think that one was by itself so it must have been like a background text kind of one i think uh if i'm remembering correctly Let's see, possibly Petals and Parchment? Mm -hmm. No, Petals and Parchment was this guy, which I'm also getting rid of because I don't really like it. Um, so the Petals and Parchment set came with this one, which is really the one that I did want, and also a set of washi stickers, which are like somewhere, not this one, somewhere. Um, but this one is the one from the set that I really, really wanted. So I was willing to kind of pay for the set because I was like, I'll use this one. And out of the four that are in there, the other two, like there are another two that I'll probably use. This one, though, I won't use. So this one can go, go goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, let's see. Where was the other one from then? I'm just, I'm... <sighs> it's one of those ones that like, I don't like have a proper, um, I don't know, directory <laughs> of, of where each set came from. So I'm not too sure about some of them. I feel like this might have been one of the earlier uh, selections that they possibly sent me, but I'm not. I don't know. It's one of those things that I'll probably figure out later and I'll, I'll let you guys know later. Yeah, I know. Stay on target. I'm sorry, Ireland. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting myself distracted, but I appreciate it. Wasn't that one of the added journal collabs? Um, possibly, yeah. I mean, I don't think, I mean, I'm not keeping it, let's put it that way. I mean, it's lovely. Go make somebody else happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give me a minute to take a breather. You guys are so mean. No, you're not mean to me. I'm kidding. But also, tink, drink break. <laughs> mm -mm. We are making progress. I'm going to be so happy when all of my washi tape fits into my drawers. Oh my gosh. Anyways, moving right along. So, this one I know I kept because it had a grid, but again, it says Happy Valentine's Day on it, and goodbye. <laughs> this one doesn't have text on it, and I do quite like the hearts. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile because I'm not too convinced that I would like 100% definitely use it, but I do like it. So that can go in the maybe pile. I'm also glad that our maybe pile this time is distinctly smaller than our maybe pile from last time because that was a bit of a problem. This one I have used previously because I kind of like the, is it like a tartan? I don't know. I like the, the background pattern, even if the hearts over the top aren't like 100% for me, but I do like them. Will you do a Valentine's Day spread? Yeah, probably. Like I'd be inclined to do one before. What's the words? I haven't done a Valentine's Day theme for February before, I don't think. Um, and that's just because I'm a complete hater and I like different things. No, okay. I'd be very, very much happy to do one. I just haven't gotten around to it. It's kind of like um, for October, I don't usually do Halloween themes only because I know that it's typical so I'd like to give people other options, if that kind of makes sense. So same idea with February. It's like because February is like typically <laughs> got those kind of you know, love and all of that, like hearts and pinks and reds and yada yada. I do try to kind of steer away from those in terms of my personal setups because I like to give people other ideas of stuff they could do. Uh, but I would like to do it one year. Does that answer your question in a very roundabout way? <laughs> um, 
This one is so cute. This one was part of the Halloween set, but I just love the little skulls with the little X's in their eyes. So we will keep this one. I also really like this one because it weirdly reminds me of like Mickey Mouse and it's probably just because of the shape of the hearts, but it is just a very kind of simple black and gold hearts and I think it's quite cute. Yeah, flowers and hearts by Feb. And I don't like, this is the thing, I, there's nothing against doing that really. I mean, heck yeah, if you want to do flowers and hearts, you go for it. Like those are beautiful themes. I just know that a lot of the time, and maybe this is just me giving into peer pressure, um, you'll get kind of, I guess I won't necessarily get complaints, but I guess maybe I get it the other way. I get kind of people saying, oh, wow, I'm really glad you did X, Y, Z for February because I'm so sick of love and hearts and all of those kind of themes. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's that kind of thing. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not trying to rain on anybody's parade here. Like, if that's the theme you want to do, then you go for it. Heck yeah. Uh, I just wanted to try and provide other inspiration, I suppose. I don't know. Am I talking too much about this? Yes. Let's move on. <laughs> so this one here is another washi tape sticker set. And I think this is the one that was from the petals and parchment possibly. Um, I oh, see so this is the hard thing because these flowers match really well with this tape. So I'd be inclined to use them together. But I don't like these flowers. But I do like to use these little bits and pieces on my... Uh, idea videos those kind of things so for that I will keep this one only because I have actually like you can see I've used them before I used them in my uh what was the video Inco Rimo ideas yeah the ideas for international correspondence writing month because it was all like you know lettered themes and it had like little stickers of little pieces of text and things like that which is pretty cute I think I'm ready to let this tape go I really like it I love the kind of like paint splatter effect and the pink and I did try and use it in a setup once or twice but I think I've gotten to the point where I know in my soul that I don't need this tape anymore and me letting this one go is quite an achievement for me because I've had it quite a while. <laughs> Alrighty, goodbye. Goodbye, pink tape. You will be missed, maybe, if I remember you, which I'll probably I'll probably forget about you sooner rather than later, but still. This one has text and little florally bits, and it says, like, thank you, blessed, you are loved, and I don't think I'm ever going to use any of those slogans, so we can put that away. <laughs> it's one of those things that I'm like, I don't really, like, there's nothing against the slogan and the the writing itself is very nice but if I'm going to use these kind of slogans and writing in my journal I'd rather just write them myself <laughs> so yeah Inko Rimo spread around all of your letters yeah I I think that's the thing I would love to do Inko Rimo one year but my February is so busy that I'm like it's not gonna it's not gonna happen this time around um we will keep the map the map is awesome I've used this one before and I really like it we will keep both of these Halloween ones because Look at this. Look at this guy. He's so cute. And although it's one of those things that I can really only use it once a year, I absolutely love this. <laughs> we are not loved. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, it's very that. Don't tell me how to feel. Don't tell me what I am. <laughs> like, this one is a, um, I don't know. I don't think there's stickers. I think it's just like a full washy roll so I'd have to yeah you have to cut them out yourself but I actually liked to use these in my um uh, my self-care journal as kind of like little just fun decorative like having some fun putting stickers down on paper kind of things rather than trying to actually do a full spread and this one is oddly wrapped up because I've like cut a section of tape off and then wrapped it around the tape again so we're just gonna put that one back on and hope for the best that one I think came as a bonus in an order that I did for um like I ordered tape and they put it in there as a bonus for you know order x amount and get a free tape or whatever this one has little stickers on it as well and these ones are the stamp kind of stickers which I mean I'm just like a sucker for stamps I think like actual postage stamp designs not like stamping in your journal so this one I will keep because I have used these ones previously they're very, very cute. Um, Uh-oh. What's the alarm for? What did I do? Did I do something wrong? Probably. <laughs> it's probably me just, like, letting the cheerleader effect get me again. Um, but, yeah, this one I have used previously. You know, just in case you guys haven't seen it. Just just because I'm obviously mentioning it a couple of times. Abuses sticker style. Just, like, calm down. Um, 
So, just in case you haven't seen the video and you're like, Jess, what the heck are you talking about? So these are the kind of little sticker bits that I'm talking about. It's like, I'll stick them in for just decoration on, you know, this was my video on different reading ideas, or like reading journal ideas. There's like a little stamp and a little, little sticker piece here and that kind of thing. Um, if we scroll ahead, yes, scroll, <laughs> scroll through the journal, but you can see the like little sticker pieces that I put in here, like a lot of different stamps and um, little like tab bits and things. So I'm kind of just using them to fill the page, make it look a little bit decorative. Uh, but yeah, so it's always helpful when when you remind them in the ch in the chat, Monica, because I think it shows up like in a more timely fashion for them. Because if people are five minutes behind in watching the video and I remind them to, to like, refresh so they're actually part of the, the thing at the right time, they don't see it until five minutes later. I appreciate you. Hearts. <laughs> yeah, distraction count seven. I know, right? I apologize. <laughs> it's one of those things, I'm like, we've been here for two hours and you only have, like, half a bucket of washi. Okay, I actually have quite a, quite a decent bucket of washi and I'm still feeling good about it. But also, tink. Mm -mm. so things to yeah okay we can get rid of the cats because i am again not a cat person i'm like the not really an animal person this cat is my favorite though just like full-blown display it's like this is my space yeah <laughs> so that one I, I won't use it but it is cute same idea with the llamas like they're cute i might take this one to go wild um but i think that uh I'm gonna gonna put this one to, to the side here. Yeah, we have two sets of different sirens, one for distractions and one for the cheerleader effect, lol. <laughs> yeah, probably, eh? It's like, just stay on topic. You have things to do here. Um, it's one of those things that I almost need to do like a speed round to make sure that I'm just like not thinking about it too much because it's one of those things where I like stop and pause and really look and reflect and go, oh, but maybe I'll use the tiny rooster. I'm like, girl, you're not going to use the tiny rooster, all right? This is for someone. It is not for you. Goodbye. All right, it's over there. Done. The bucket is getting quite full, though. I'm feeling pretty good about that, but anywho. So things that I know that I will use, I have already used these before, so I'm going to keep these ones. These ones are also kind of cut out little, like, tabby kind of things. Like, they've got the little... I don't know, whatever this is, they're, they're cut out on the side here. <laughs> um, they don't rip as easily um, because they're not perforated, but I just cut them out with scissors. They're great. <laughs> yeah, you can do eyes for your, your distraction and then the siren for the cheerleader effect so Jess doesn't get confused. <laughs> I'm easily confused. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see, what else? Okay, I... The thing with this one is that I haven't actually used it to tell you if I would use it. So I'm going to put it in the maybe pile. I don't even know how to get this one off. the. I think it's got, yeah, it's got a sticky back. Um, but this one is like a rose pattern. Um, but it's all, it's all trimmed out around the roses. I think you can kind of possibly see that. Like it focuses more on my hands than it does on the tape. But um. So it's a little bit hard to pull off the roll, but I also like that it doesn't have a whole bunch of like wasted white space around the washi tape. So I'm gonna put this on the like on the on the on the maybe pile, but I don't it's kind of like halfway between the maybe and the discard. Like I don't think I'll use it, but I think I need to think about it a bit more. Yeah. Um this one is so chonky, but it also is one of those sticker ones that has a lot of different types of decoration on it. And I have obviously used them before. You can see all, all of the parts that are missing. Um, so I will probably keep it. She says as she knows she's going to keep it kind of a thing. Yeah. The roses are very pretty. It's, it's very Beauty and the Beast kind of thing. It would be very kind of good for that. Um, maybe I'll keep it for that then. I'll keep it for that reason. I love Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that one is certainly one of my favorite Disney films. Um, all right. Where are we at now? You can go. I it's It's got roses, but it's also got the bows. We know how I feel about the bows. And the bows are all upside down because you're holding this the wrong way around. <laughs> bows aren't really for me. So we can put that to the side. I mean, this is actually one of those tapes that feels like it would be very good tape for uh, masking. Do, 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 do. We're going to put it in that bucket. Because, again, we're going to look at that bucket later. I don't like this one. I don't. This pattern really isn't for me. 
Like, this is part of the vintage rose set, and you can very much see the vintage vibes in it, I feel. It looks like it's kind of like roses laid on top of doilies or something. And it's for somebody, but it's not for me. Uh, I got the rose ones, like this one here, and this one, and I think this one, and maybe this one, possibly. And that one that we were looking at before. They all came from a set from Notebook Therapy. Uh, part of their vintage rose collection, I think it was. But the thing is, is that I feel like if the tapes come in a set, they should match each other better. And this one just does not seem to match at all. It's like very blue and red kind of color palette. But then these ones are all very much more like vintage vibes. And I'm like, I, d I don't know. Maybe it's just a me thing. No, you, you are the maybe. You are the no. <laughs> you are the... I feel like I need to think about it more because I am getting more into kind of like vintage-esque kind of uh, stuff. I feel like I could cut pieces of this one out. I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> I opened it up and now I'm like, I'm going to keep this one. Yeah, grandma's house. The boys look like pretzels. They totally look like pretzels, right? I think that's the thing that kind of got me about it wherever it went. Is that These ones do. They look edible. Eatable. <laughs> there we go. Um, this one is probably going to be a maybe, only because I haven't really used it enough to tell you whether I really want to keep it. Um, ooh, that was a noise. Apologies, team. Um, it kind of looks like you could cut individual pieces out and use them as stickers. So, I'm going to put this in the maybe. Oh, God, static much. Aya, it's trying to get me. Where did you get the watercolor rainbow set? The watercolor rainbow set was from Spotlight. Um, I think it was one of the crafters' choice sets of washi. And, like, I bought a whole bunch of their sets of washi tape because they were in tubes of colour sets. And as we know, the cheerlead effect's out to go and get you. Um, and it very much did. And I have given away or put into the discard pile every other washi tape that I got from crafters' choice. Not because it was a bad washi tape, but more I'm just like, I very much let the idea of a big matching colour palette get to me. Um... That watercolor set is beautiful. I'm going to keep this because <laughs> look at him. Can you see him? This little ghost with his little face. He's so cute. And I love the little spiders that kind of look like crabs. And just like, this is beautiful. I love this tape so much. It's so cute. <laughs> um, same idea with these ones. They're like washi stickers again, but they're just very, very cute. And I'm going to keep those. And hmm. Hmm. These ones are like cute-ish. I suppose they are, again, washi stickers, which are now stuck to themselves. Thank you. Stay down. Um, which are kind of cute for a little kind of Christmassy village kind of vibes. But I don't... How many are there? There are quite a few. I mean designs, not... Okay, there we go. There's a snowman and there's another snowman. So this is how many designs there are between the two snowmen. I don't think there are enough to really make... There is going to be a part two of the color swatching, though. I think this one is going to go possibly in the not-for-me bucket, only because I have another washi tape set that does have little houses, but I like those ones more. So if I was going to do houses, I'd probably get... I wouldn't... Yeah, put this one away. So you're cute, but no. <laughs> there we go. Um, is there going to be a part two? Yes, that's what we said. There is. Spiders look like little crabs? Yes. Hilarious. I love them. Um, let's see. What's next? Okay. These ones I'm going to keep because I really like the very simple daisy pattern. I haven't gotten around to using it yet, but I'm not ready to let it go yet because it is very cute. And this is the type of tape that I don't necessarily use in my journal, but I use it in my idea videos to kind of decorate the page. So I will keep this one. Um, <laughs> look at him. Look at them. They're so cute. I love this. I love the little pumpkin. I love the little bat. And I love the little ghost. And I guess the cat's here too. He's okay. But this one's cute. We're keeping this one. <laughs> I think it's the kind of thing that there are some tapes that I can just pull out and be like, oh my god, I'm keeping you. And there are some that I'm just like, eh. I will keep you because you're gorgeous and I like this bat I like his face it's the kind of thing that I really saw, need to start doing like a Halloween crafting project 
so that I can actually use up the Halloween tape. But I love the Halloween tape, so I'm keeping it. You can't tell me not to. <laughs> Spiders next fix of procrastination. Oh no! This one can go. I don't. No, I don't like you. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's not a lot to be said. I don't like you. Uh, this one is one that I have used previously as decoration. Um, they're not washi stickers, but you kind of like it's a washi tape and you can cut around the individual designs, which is what I've done. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep that one for that reason. Um, this one's very cute because it's like Halloween-y, but you kind of have to, you don't even have to look that hard, but at, at a very first glance, it looks very neutral, but then it's got like little Halloween-y bits on it. So I'm going to keep this one. Yay! And yes, I know you're keeping like every Halloween tape and it's like, Maybe it's because I'm a sucker for Halloween, guys. <laughs> like, I got rid of the Christmas one. Like, we can give me props for that, right? I'm going to give myself a tiny round of applause. <laughs> All right, yep. Yeah, eight Halloween tapes. I don't think it's eight, is it? One, two, three. Oi. Four. Five. Six. Okay, maybe you're right. <laughs> You can only find six, right? Maybe it's because I'm not looking hard enough. Okay, seven, eight. Yeah. But look at them. Aren't they cute? Look at the ghost. Oh, my gosh. It's so <laughs> This guy. He's like, but why, though? <laughs> he's so cute. <laughs> I can't possibly. I can't possibly get rid of them. They're too gorgeous. I... That's the thing. I'm just, like, a sucker for the Halloween type. I'm a sucker for, like, cute... Not, like super cutesy kind of a thing but it's like spooky but cute spooky but cute what's the what's the word for spooky but cute <laughs> but yeah there we go it's one of those things i'm just like oh this is the hill that i will die on i'm keeping my spooky halloween tape i have used the ever loving crapola out of this tape and i'm gonna keep the last little bit of it that i have this is the one that's like the kind of peachy kind of florals that is just got the gold foiling and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm again, I'm not really a florals person typically, but I have used this tape a lot and I'm going to end up using it up. So I will keep it beautiful. Spoopity. A spoopity tape. They're so cute. The, this one I don't think I really want. Like I like the idea of the little floral hearts, but because the florals are all different florals um <laughs> they're all like different kind of color palettes and different kind of you know types i don't i don't think i need this one yeah goodbye two second tiktok was just saying just like but why though <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> literally that <laughs> it's very much that kind of a, a face though but look at it see our discard pile is still doing really well and i'm just proud of myself that we actually got rid of like one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve-ish tapes from the washi tape shop or more, considering I'm like a giant fangirl, so I'm proud of me. I'm proud of my choices today. <laughs> Put that one to the side. Okay, so do we just pull some out and then just look at them so that it's not me kind of spending 27 years just trying to go through my tapes to be like, do I want to keep this one? Alrighty. Here's a cruddy little tape. This one, I do not like the color palette of at all, but it's one of the after and olive tapes. So I will keep it because it can go into the uh, masking box. There we go. Done. <laughs> I think we're going to have to start embarking on the sets and the thing with the tapes that I'm going to pull out now is that, like, just, just be mentally prepared that I am going to keep a lot of these. And it's not necessarily because they're part of a set together. It's more about because of how I like to use them. So pretty much all of the tape sets that I'm pulling out right now are the ones that I like to use for uh, my idea videos, right? Um, so when I do things like, you know, 10 different types of ABC. I'm going to give you an example so that you can actually see what I'm talking about here. If I can find my journal. Yeah, this is this is the hard ones. This is the ones that are like, so like that kind of peachy tape that we had before. Eh, scroll through, scroll through. Thank you. So like this is all through this um, set of pages because I used these all for uh, my, you know, ideas videos I guess so this idea video was about like different things that you can do 
for like, you know, just new journal setup kind of things. You could include that kind of stuff. Um, so this one is all like done with that kind of peachy kind of color. And then when we get to the next set of ideas, this one was, whew, this one was done with uh, this kind of like Eastern fresco tape kind of a thing. So it's like those ones are all done with this tape. So it's like, although I wouldn't necessarily use this in my journal, like my personal setup kind of thing, which I mean, I might, because it is really pretty. I use these for my content creating. So I'm going to keep those kind of tapes, even if they aren't necessarily the ones that would immediately speak to me, like this one, like it's just all through the sides here. So we're getting into this kind of realm, okay? We're getting into the realm of tapes that I'm going to be keeping because I'm going to use them for decoration in my journal. This one, beautiful. Like again, oh God, it's so gorgeous. Anyways, so hopefully, I hope that you guys understand what I'm talking about here. So it's like, I'm, there are some that we're going to keep in this and I am going to probably consider them as a set. And it's not because of the cheerleader effect. It's because I know that if I do a setup and I need a decorative element, I will use like one of them or maybe two of them together to kind of like make it a little bit prettier. So it's not just like, hey guys, here is a really boringly designed page with a really cool idea. I want it to look good. <laughs> um, this set was from the washi tape shop, but I don't think they sell it anymore. I think they've since sold out of it, but I will be keeping this whole one, but we need to get more tapes out. So we'll just, we'll just put that to the side. I think that, oh gosh, some of these, I can't actually remember which sets they came in as well, which doesn't really help. Uh, but we'll just we'll just put them all out on the on the desk and then we'll have a look at them from there. There we go. Tapes, 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 tap
okay. I'm a little, I'm just a little overwhelmed. So I'm going to have a drink. Tink. Mm -mm. Oh, okay, so this one, this one goes with the green botanical set. Yeah, that's probably why I didn't bother opening it because I liked the, I liked the other part and I was just like, yeah, you're just an extra. Goodbye. So thank you. You're onto it. I'm not. Um, okay. This tape I am keeping. This is a grid. It's, it's like a paper craft paper tape, um, which means that you can write on top of it, which is really handy, very easy to write on top of. Um, and it is, uh, like, it, it's got a paper backing on the tape, so it doesn't stick to itself, because if it stuck to itself, it would just rip itself. Um, this is excellent. I love this tape. This is from Stationery Pal. I use it for headers. I use it for, like, craft paper decoration and all of that. This is actually a, an extra roll. I've got another one somewhere in my stash. Oh, there it is that I've actually started using and I used like a lot of it so I figured I'd get myself another one because they're excellent so this is good we like this um let's see I, hey at a first glance there are some that I just know off the top of my head that I'm gonna want to keep so I can probably just pull those out and we can nut out the ones that I'm like hey, about for instance I know that I'm going to keep all of these floral ones because I bought them specifically thinking about the idea of decorating my pages for ideas videos. And this one is one that I've already used for that. And the other ones are going to meet, <laughs> they're going to meet the same fate. So these ones, we can put those aside. They're actually really, really pretty. So <laughs> we've got like not enough space on my desk now. And I'm like kind of building a wall around my Coke. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> like, the screen just like refilled with the washi rolls. Um, other ones that I know I'm going to be keeping these uh galaxy ones from before or like constellation set like all of these ones i use as decoration i've used them previously i will use them again so we can put those to the side we know that they are going to be kept <clears throat> we're starting to get very close to the edge of the desk though we're gonna have to do something about this <laughs> i might just end up starting to put them back into the drawers so that they're a bit safer um this set is one of the ones that i actually got to pick from the like washi tape shop sometimes when they send me things they just send me a random selection of stuff which is very nice of them and sometimes i get to pick the ones that they send me so this is one of the ones that i um like in one of the very first times that they sent me something i picked this one because i absolutely love <laughs> the purple um well actually we'll unwrap one of them so that you can kind of see like they're all different designs uh so this one is one that has like phoenix kind of design on it so you can see that it's got like the gold foiling on it and we've got the phoenix with its like feathers and then there's like a maple tree and like a little cherry blossom kind of thing and it's just like a it's a very nice repeating loop as well I think that they've done the looped pattern very well on it uh it's absolutely gorgeous so I have used this one previously as decoration in my personal journal uh not for like a monthly setup kind of thing but more for uh, my kind of like my content journal that I have where I used to plan out my content. <laughs> I used to plan my content. Now I fly by the seat of my pants. Okay, no, that's not the case. Um, another one they've got is the like whale kind of like under the sea kind of vibes. Um, so we've got like a whale here and we've got some like starfish and jellyfish and coral. And it's one of those things that like I wouldn't, necessarily use it in my everyday journal unless I was kind of making an entire theme around it but I do like to use it as decoration um, and it's absolutely beautiful I love the purple so 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 much uh, I'm a sucker for the purple sucker for the purple so that one's really pretty pretty uh what here's another one that I've actually used before as well from them this one's kind of got more well, like the uh I guess it's like a lotus flower I'm not too sure but that one has like the kind of like koi fish and they've got the moon and all the gold foiling. I'm not too sure who made this set, but this one's called Azure on, um, on the Washi Tape Shop's website. And I feel like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. <laughs> like one time Rachel went to go look for it and she couldn't find it, but then I found it like not too long afterwards. So it exists somewhere on their website, but it is called the Azure Washi Tape set. Um, I was going to say, do they still have it? Possibly. I'm getting myself distracted again, aren't I? I apologize. Or do I? No, I do. I apologize for getting distracted. Um, Azure washi tape set. 
they do seem to still have it yeah so let's see we can link you guys this one there we go copy that and we can paste it in here so that you guys can get it if you want I don't think you guys can. Oh, can does it actually turn it into a link? I hope it does because I know that other people can't necessarily post links in a stream. But yeah, that one's beautiful. We love that. Um, I think the picture only pictures four of them, but the tape set comes with five tapes. It says that the artist is Jin Peng. Maybe it doesn't come with four anymore. Maybe I'm getting confused. Five rather. Mine came with five. Maybe it only comes with four now, but mine does have a set of five. But we'll put that to the side because it is beautiful and we would like to keep that. Um, let's see. It's on sale as well. Oh, we love a good sale. Yay! <laughs> um, so what else? This one was another one that I got to keep. This one's called Afterglow, I'm pretty sure. Like from vague memories of things. Let's see. Afterglow. Yep. Yeah. This one is the Afterglow washi tape set. And this one was by, I don't know, somebody. I don't think they have this one anymore though. Um, but I like the kind of pink and blue kind of color palette. This one is very hard to find pen colors for. Uh, but... Oh. <laughs> see if I can actually get us to focus properly on it. There we go. It seems like it seems like it's the right way. But um, you've got kind of like the. It feels very like summery, but like I don't know, maybe kind of springish, but with like less florals and stuff. It's just it's a very pretty set. Anyways, we're gonna put this one to the side because that's another one that I know that I will be keeping. <laughs> so. This one is another set that I know I will keep for the same reason, because of the decorative element. This is also one of my newer ones, so I'm not ready to part with it. Um, but this one is, I think, called the Fairy's Nest set or something like that. Um, I love the colours in these. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I uh, would probably only use them, like, individually at any one time, so that then just to kind of, like, simplify my personal color palette finding but this one's got kind of like the kind of clouds and the, the little like really super kind of like concentrated areas of gold which is very cool I love it um that one's good we're gonna keep that one because you know for the reasons that I literally just said that we're keeping all of these ones uh -huh. and I know we're, we're considering them together but they would be used separately and they're all beautiful so we're gonna do we're gonna keep them this one's very much like purple lilac -y vibes with like the moon and the kind of like moon beams coming off it. The gold is so pretty. Oh my God. Anyways, I'm just getting myself very much down a rabbit hole. But this is the kind of one that would get used as decoration when I'm doing different you know, idea setups and things like that. So those ones can all go to the side because they are going to get kept. Now, I'm going to start putting them back into a drawer though, because I'm really just running out of space on the side here. So I'm just going to just, just put them over there. They will get properly organized at some point, but now, other ones that I know that I will keep, I have used this one previously for a decoration, so I'm going to keep this one. I've also used this one previously for decoration, so I'm going to keep this one. I have also previously used this one for decoration, so I'm going to keep this one. Because um, they, I think it's nice that it's just like very easy, kind of like strong, simple color palette for each of them individually. So that's kind of why I've kept them. This one has a bit more of a complicated color palette, but it's another one that I've kept in particular for the kind of decorative element. Uh, so that one will also get kept. Where's the other one? I feel like there was another guy because these are actually all part of the same set. <laughs> um, maybe it was only, only a, a, a four set of them, but I think these ones were called like the Eastern Fresco set or something like that. Something in that kind of uh, region of wording. <laughs> That's a bad way to word it, but hopefully you guys kind of get what I'm talking about. Yes, Eastern Fresco washi tape set. Um, this might be another one that they don't actually have anymore, but it was really pretty. So we can put that one to the side. That one is all goods because it does serve a purpose. Now, last year, last year? Mm -hmm. Was last year Year of the Tiger? I can't remember, but I think that these ones were all part of the Year of the Tiger set. And this is one where I'm probably going to have to break the set up because I'm not going to use you. Like, that one's probably not going to get used. Uh, I will use this one 
which is like kind of the cherry blossom and the lantern kind of vibe. So that one's going to get kept. Uh, this one is a very dark color, but I do like the purple and the burgundy together. So I'm going to keep that one. This one, I like the individual designs, like the kind of, I don't know, it's like almost like a, it's like a, the veins of a lily palette pad and, and then like kind of a lotusy kind of design. So that one's quite cool. And I think that this one is more of a maybe, because <sighs> I like elements of it, but not necessarily all of them. But I think it probably could get used. I do. I like the lanterns. I think I like them technically all separately, so it might be the kind of one that I cut up. So we'll keep you. But this one I don't really like. I don't like the kind of blue and the pink together. It's not. It doesn't look quite right. So this one we can put to the side. Goodbye. Goodbye. But the rest of them can go in the drawer. Yay! See? See? We broke up a set. We're not letting the cheerleader effect get me too bad. <laughs> she said, like, after she'd just kept like five full set. Okay. Anyways, don't be mean to pass Jess. She's told herself. <laughs> like, I'm just trying to tell myself not to be mean to myself. Um, okay. These ones all came as part of the Great Wave set. So they're all like kind of wave related, like ocean waves. This one I have used before. We just saw it before. So this one we will keep. This one I have used before in Vogel's journal, and it might be a little hard to see, but we'll, we'll unwrap some of it so you can hopefully kind of see it. But it's a very kind of like dark wave with the gold, and I really like the combination of black and gold together. I think that's really pretty. So we will keep this one. Um, let's see. I think the one that I probably like the least is the one that's probably the most akin to the actual... Um, well, the actual picture, which is called like the Great Wave or something like that. Uh, this one here, which part of me wants to keep it because I feel like it could make for some good decoration, but it's also the one that I'm probably the least attracted to. So I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile and we'll, we'll have a think. And this one I don't like, so... <laughs> you know, I said that the other one was the one I liked the least. This one. I don't like this one. So this one, we can say goodbye to. See? Look at me go. Breaking up the sets again. Huzzah! Progress. Yeah! So, oh, these ones are all getting kept because I literally bought another set of these because I was using these ones so much. Because they come in a two and they are absolutely beautiful and I've used them for two different setups now so we're going to keep those but just in case you haven't seen them we might as well have a look I think I've actually got a piece in the middle here that I can kind of possibly show you um it's got like a combination of feathers and moons and stars and it's very like kind of celestial based and it's very pretty so we're going to keep that the nice part about it is that both of the tapes have the exact same design, uh, but one of them's black background and one of them's a white background. So you can see like the moons, you see like the feathers, and there's like some butterflies and stuff. It's like it's a very interesting combination of things, but they are they they work really well together. I love them. So we can put those ones into the drawer as ones that I will certainly keep because, as said, I have actually used them before, so I know that I'm going to use them again. Now I'm just going to say. I'm not keeping this because of the cheerleader effect. I'm keeping them because I like to have a good selection of neutrals. <laughs> I like to have a good selection of neutrals and I like to have a combination of both the white grid and the darker grid. So I am going to keep all of these. Okay. I'm going to keep all of them because I really like neutral color palettes and I like having a lot of variation in my types of grids. And all of these are pretty grids. If I had to pick a favorite grid... It would probably be one of the ones with the white grid on top of the not too dark color. So like this kind of guy here. Or possibly this one here. But we're gonna we're gonna say that these ones are all getting kept. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's the kind of thing that now as I've cleared out a fair bit of tape, like you know, the, the, the bucket of stuff that's going to be going away is starting to get quite a bit bigger. I'm feeling a little bit better about like keeping things, I guess. Um this one we're going to put into the uh, demoted bucket because it is from Archer and Olive. So the, it's got that kind of like pulls up from the paper easily. So we can use this for masking. So we'll put that onto the side. And I'm just going to move 
some of these towers out of the way because I don't want to knock them over while I move other things. There we go. Put you on. Put you on the side. Beautiful. Chef's kiss. Alrighty, team. Let's drink break. Tink. Mm -mm. Ah. Yum. All right. Who do we focus on next? Um. Um, okay, these ones are washi tape stickers. Uh, they're little, like, bugs and beetles and stuff like that. And there's, like, you can probably see the spider, but we'll just put them to the side. I don't usually use the spider one. <laughs> but this one I did for a love bugs theme, and I think it was quite cute, so I'm going to keep this one too. Um, yeah, I'm glad that you guys agree. The grids don't count, because they're all, like, fun and neutral, and it's just nice. Um, the one, yeah, the washi just kind of, like, quietly rolls away, and I'm just, like, come back, like, where'd you go? Um... This one I'm probably going to dispose of. I don't think I've actually opened it before, uh, which goes to show how much care I had. This was probably another one in, in a set that I... I'm just going to pull you up. I'm sorry, my friend. I, don't, I, don't, I try not to kind of like waste the washi stickers, but these ones would make for some cute decoration if you were doing this kind of a theme, but I don't think I ever will do this kind of theme. Like, typically when I do my ideas videos, I like the decoration to be quite large, so I would prefer them to, um, you know, kind of all, all be, like, just one kind of thicker tape that I can use to kind of, like, put in corners and stuff rather than lots of little bitsy pieces. So this one is going to go in the go pile. <laughs> Goodbye. Um, the love bugs, they were from the washi tape shop as well, I think. I think they were part of a set, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. I know that that's like super not helpful. Um, there was a set the washi tape shop sent to me that I didn't end up doing as an unboxing. I just can't remember which one it was. Uh, but yeah, this one was also from the washi tape shop. You can tell. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. Because it says washi tape shop. Well, it's got their little like typed logo in there. But yeah, there we go. That one's cute. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. But yeah, so those those little ones, like they would be kind of cute for a monthly setup. It's just that I wouldn't use them in my monthly setups. And if I was going to keep them for decoration, I'd rather it just be like a big kind of tape or like bigger. Yeah. Hard to put in the go pile. I know, right? Some of them, some of them I, I am have a hard time parting with, but I'm trying. <laughs> this one I have used as decoration previously, so we're going to keep it for the decorative purposes. Um we're going to pull this off. We can hopefully see that, like, it's just got some kind of labels and postage stamps and um, those kind of things. So it's all kind of, like, a bit more saturated vintage is how I'd probably describe it. Um, and I have used that one in some of my previous previous setups, so we can keep it. It's very much like if I've used the tape before, like, I found a use for it before, I'm much more likely to keep it, unless it was the kind of thing where, like, I used it and didn't like it kind of a thing, if that kind of makes sense. Um that one can go to the side. I love this set. I think it's actually really cute. <laughs> I don't know how to take this off without ruining it. But um, there we go. This one's got like a whole bunch of little potted plants. But I really like the kind of um, the dark green, the brown, and the kind of coral color. I think that the color palette's really cute. And I think this would make a really cute setup. So I will be keeping this one because I think that it would be cute to use for like maybe a giveaway journal or something like that. Yeah, saturated vintage. There we go. That's the aesthetic that we're talking about for that last one. I, that's the thing. I'm, I don't usually lean towards vintage um, or kind of like more subdued color palettes in my personal journal, but I'm really getting into the idea of that. So I'm kind of wanting to keep some of those tapes so that I have them there for when even if it's not necessarily in my journal, I like, you know, when I start dabbling with that kind of stuff more, which I have kind of started doing. All right. These ones are Christmas tapes and they're from the same artist. Um, and I did use them, as you can probably tell by the fact that this one looks kind of naked. Um, I used them in December of 2022. Um, look at how cute they are. The artist of these ones did some of the tapes that were in my most recent washi tape haul, um, which we have not also brought over. They're all sitting over on the desk in the back. Um, but all of these I'm going to keep because I think that their art, their art style is really cute. And because they all 
kind of match together and there's enough variation in the stickers they make for some very cute setups so I will be keeping those even if it's just for like an art project at one time Tonya's artwork is is that who it is I'm because I, I can't remember things very well but whoever it is if you're saying it's Tonya I'm gonna believe you absolutely gorgeous so we're gonna keep all of those ones because I think they are so stinking cute and again they're a set that I have used before so I feel confident in keeping them uh let's see so this one which I mean just ignore the giant strip of blue um see if we can unwrap a little bit of it so you can kind of see this one because we have used it previously we used it in the video about like Christmas bullet journal ideas um so it's very much kind of like a like cozy homes kind of theme I think it's called like home sweet home or home for the holidays or like something like that I can't remember but they it's again like a, a more kind of subdued color palette but still saturated I don't know how to describe that I'm not very good with words <laughs> but this one and this one were part of the same set and they work really well together for a setup so I'm going to keep these ones again because I like that it's kind of like Christmassy in a way. Like you can see like the presents and stuff like that. But it's not like a typical Christmas color palette of like the reds and the greens. It's more like brown and like pale purple and dark green and stuff. Which I am always a fan of more novel kind of color palettes. So we will keep those. I think this one was actually part of the same set. Yeah, you can see that they all kind of match together in terms of their art style and their color palette yes oh let's see washi tape is giving away the entire cute winter set free with every purchase above a certain amount that's awesome i do love snagging free tape heck yeah <laughs> oh thank you for being here while you could thank create Co. it's a pleasure to have you here with us while you could be all right those tapes can go to the side now we're getting into kind of like the ones that look a little bit more autumn related i am keeping this these leaves are really gorgeous so haha <laughs> instantly Yes. This one I didn't get a chance to use yet because we haven't actually come around to my autumn. So I'd like to at least keep them for my autumn before I make a choice. Same idea with this one. Because like, you know, harvest time, sweet autumn, hello autumn. Like our autumn doesn't start until like maybe the end of March. I think technically March is supposed to be in autumn for us, but like, eh. But I'm going to have to keep those ones because I haven't even gotten a chance to use them. Um, this one is kind of winter 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 related i also haven't gotten a chance to use these either so i think that any of the ones that like the the, the month for them hasn't really come around for me i'm probably going to keep just until at least after that period of time to see if i did use them because i just don't think it's fair on myself it's not fair on myself if i give them away and i haven't even had a chance to use them this one was from that last set we were talking about so i'm gonna gonna keep that too but what are you from I think oh gosh okay this is this is this one this one this one and this one I think are from the same set and they're supposed to be like a full annual set where each of them is like a different month season each of them is a different season is the word I was thinking um so I think that I might I think it would be actually really cool to set up a uh, giveaway journal using these four together um, so that then you kind of have like a, a cohesive theme almost going through the entire journal but um, each of the seasons kind of is, is a different set. I think that would be kind of cool. So I'm going to keep these ones mainly for that kind of a project but we'll, we'll see what I actually end up using them for. This one is another one that looks kind of almost fall related it's got like a tea bag i don't know i think of tea and i think of autumn in a way let's see oh no i'm losing one of the stickers this is the problem with the washi tape stickers is that the piece of washi tape that they use to hold down the washi like roll because it's paper backed sticks to the sticker underneath it and then it's like eh, pulling them up but that's pretty cute i like those little decorative elements i think i'm gonna keep this one too can you see them yeah you can kind of see them there we go they're quite cute. We're going to keep these. All right. I need a washi swatch book. I do. That, I think that's going to be like another um, stream. If you would like to see me swatch my washi tapes, though, make sure that you like the video so that I know that you like washi tape related things. Because otherwise, you know, I could just think, oh, they, they thought it was okay. We won't do this again. But if you did like it, I'd love to know. There we go. Put those into the drawer. Looking very cute so far. We're getting down to the, to the kind of 
not bare essentials, but like into the places where we have less stuff. This one I am not going to keep. Let's not think about it too much. I don't want this one. So this one is going to be part of the box of stuff that somebody gets. A 16-hour stream. Yeah, it would take a hot minute. I'm hoping it would be less than 12 hours because I've done a 12-hour stream before. But um, 16 hours might push me over the edge. <laughs> there we go. Uh, this one's the kind of like more fall vibes again. So we're going to keep this one just until at least after autumn so I know whether I actually want to keep it. This one I've used before. I don't think I actually like it though. So... I'm going to get rid of this one, but it's a floral tape. It came in the same set as that floral tape we looked at before that had been used half to death. Um, so I only have like 30 centimeters of it left. But this one I realistically don't actually like that much. So this one can go away. Goodbye, tape. Look at me making choices, doing things. Huzzah. I wonder, because I, I know that you guys talked about it earlier. But I think I missed the conversation. What are you doing while we're watching? Like, are we are we doing decluttering with me? Or are we, you know, working on our journals? Are we just chilling? Are we doing housework? Like, also, don't forget to drink. Tink. Drink breaks are important. Hydration station and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, crocheting. Nice. Rachel wants to learn how to crochet. Oh, knitting, cutting stickers. Love it. Shopping for washi. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> just vibing, working on your journal, love it. Uh, excellent. I love how like yeah, we're just like yeah, I'm just shopping for washi because now you you made me feel like I have FOMO and <laughs> postponing going to sleep. Oh no, working from home. Oh, crocheting a blanket, relaxing, nice. Got like, a good range of things that we're getting getting onto here. Chilling with the R and D journal. Oh, putting frames together to decorate your bathroom. Wow, look you go. Love that. Love good, like, you know, opportunity to do some productivity stuff. We do have a productivity sprints live scheduled for later this month, actually, on Stationery Pal, buying more washi. <laughs> yeah, and then we have people from all over the world, so we have some of you who are very much ready for bed. Excellent. Uh, and cooking time. Ooh, yum. What you cooking? I can't get this off. I Well, I can. I'm just trying to be very careful with it. Oi, day. Oi, day. Oh, working on your business journal. Oh no. I hope that I hope that your mistake is easily fixable. So this one is a wreaths set. And I would prefer that the wreaths all kind of like fit together a little better. How many wreaths do we actually have? I think there's only like because these two look the same, right? Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five, six different wreaths. <laughs> I am going to put this in the maybe pile, but it's it's like in the maybe pile with a stronger lean towards like the maybe not pile, just because again, like I wouldn't use this in my personal journal. So I'd probably be more inclined to, to, to give it away. And I wouldn't use it in my ideas journal so much because it's just like there's not enough of the same type of decoration. I wouldn't want to use like the same wreath on every single page. Um... Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that put that over here. There we go. Alrighty. Ooh. You laid twelve off your cart. Nice. There we go. I think that's the thing. I like when I go to the washi tape shop to buy a new yeah, order of washi, I typically add like everything I want to the cart and not knowing knowing that I'm not gonna be checking out. So I like add everything to the cart and then I go through and I go, Okay, now we need to get it to a price that we can actually manage. <laughs> So we need to start like culling the ones that are like, I like you and I want you, but I don't want you as much. So that the favorites are the ones that are left behind. And I get to my get myself to a point where I'm like, okay, I am comfortable spending this amount. What do I actually have left? So we're getting closer to a place where we have looked at all of my washi tape though. So team, if you've been here since the start, like round of applause to you. Also, if you've just joined in the middle, because it's always a pleasure to have you. Um, so these ones are dot tapes. So it's not actually like a washi tape, but they're like dot stickers. And I don't think that I can let go of these. <laughs> like, so they're just like individual little sticker dots. And I like that I have a good color range of these. There is a reason that I have as many as I do. I actually have another one uh, because some of the tapes that wouldn't fit in the drawer are just sitting over here. We're just going to pop them all over because we might as well do these ones all together. Uh, we need these ones and we need these ones <laughs> and we need these ones. 
and we need these ones, and we need these ones, and I think that's, I think that's all of my tape. Well, I, I mean, outside of the, the one that's like the discard bucket kind of thing. So all of these dot tapes came from Stationery Pal. And they have them in like a range of different colors, which is why I have as many as I do. Um, this one's probably the one I use the most, um, is like the purple pink. And I actually use the pink, the pale pink dots on this the most. Um, but so I just like having a good range of colors for them because I use them as like little decorative bits or you could use them as like kind of date cover stickers if you have the right pen to write over the top of them, um, that kind of thing. So I will be keeping all of those because I do actually use them. I haven't unwrapped these ones yet because I haven't had the right color palette for a setup. These two I have though, and that's why I've unwrapped these ones. But they're like more of a functional kind of tape, functional kind of sticker tape. So they can all stay here with me. Stay with me. Um, okay, these ones are all new, so <laughs> you're instantly gonna be like, okay, Jess is gonna keep a fair few of these. This one, and this one, and this one. <laughs> so if you saw my washi tape haul video, the more recent one, uh, you will remember these tapes, because they're all from that. These ones are all from the same artist did, that did those, um, uh, these ones. The ones with like the little penguin and the snowman and stuff like that, uh, which are all super cute, which is kind of why I want to keep all of them because they're all just really cute. Like look at the little houses and a little present and stuff. So these ones are obviously more Christmas related. Uh, these ones would be just a really fun setup, I think, to use them all together because they're all themed around like some kind, like some type of creativity, effectively. So we have yeah, the little mushroom, pretty cute. <laughs> so we've got like a kind of art and painting kind of one. We've got like a baking one, embroidery, floristry, gardening, and this one's like a little lady who works at a coffee shop, kind of a thing. Um, so our little character has like a little tray of coffee or muffins or something like that. Stop rolling away. Be nice. Be nice to me. <laughs> So those ones can all stay <laughs> uh, because I would like to do a full setup with all of these. Maybe where we've got like a different color per week or we could do it for like um, a series of six months where we have like a month for each of our little per persons. I do wish that each of them had like multiple people in the set. I think that would be quite cute, but they do only come with one, one person per, uh, per set. So now we are into, again, the ones that are a bit more new. So we are going to essentially be keeping the majority of these. This one is beautiful. This is the dusty pink and blue um, set. Like, oh, just look at that. Like, they're so gorgeous. Um, again, this is a PET tape rather than a, um, rather than like a washi. Uh, so this one I would like cut around individual pieces and I'd use them each as stickers and stuff like that. And I've actually already started cutting a section of this one out because I really do like this one. Um, so that one is getting kept. Uh, makes for nice easy decoration. We've also got, this one's like an autumn kind of color palette. So it's more like pinks and purples and like some browns and like I love the pumpkins I think the pumpkins are like the best part of this actually I think that they're just you don't really see pumpkins and florals together a lot of the time I find I think you see like you know pumpkin and fall leaves but you don't necessarily see pumpkin and florals so those ones 100% going to be keeping that that one's very very pretty as well and these ones I think are like new releases that they have or something and yay for those ones yay for tape I'm going to put those ones to the side. We also have, this one is from the same artist as well. So this one's like a, a blue and cinnamon, like a dusty blue and cinnamon, which is absolutely gorgeous. And I know I say this about like pretty much all of the tapes, but that's the thing. I'm like, I don't usually keep things that I don't think are pretty in some way. So a lot of them are either like super cute or super gorgeous or super functional. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just an enthusiastic person, okay? All right, so we can roll that one back up because, again, we're going to be keeping that one. I won't unroll every single one of these. She said possibly optimistically I might because I might just get over-enthusiastic as I do. <laughs> um, so this one was one we actually had from before. Uh, so I've actually already got a roll of this, and I don't necessarily think I need two. 
So I think for this one, this might be one of the ones that is like new to my collection, I guess, but I've already got this tape. I don't think I need both. So this one can, can go. I haven't actually done a count up of which one won the monthly spread, but I'm pretty sure that the dusty blue and cinnamon one, uh, whichever one, I don't think it's called dusty blue and cinnamon. I think it might just be called blue and cinnamon. No, actually dusty blue and cinnamon sounds right now. I think that the dusty blue and cinnamon one, but the other one was the, like the frosty pink and blue or like frosty blue and pink. Those were the ones that were very popular kind of a thing. Um, yeah. Yay, pumpkins and florals. I think that they're great. I think they're very cute together. Uh, let's see. Celestial Whale. That sounds kind of cool. Uh, this one has another kind of set of florals. Um, this one I'm probably less keen on just because, probably just because of the color palette. The color palette isn't really as me. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile. So... Yeah, the Dusty Rose is a really, really pretty one. I think the Dusty Rose and the, the Blue and Cinnamon one, those are the ones that were really kind of winning to the extent where I'm tempted to do both. Like, not together, but, like, separately. But um, <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. This is another one that I got a while ago, I think, and this one's kind of, like, big floral elements. I'm going to put this one in the maybe pile as well, mainly because I'm not too sure if I would use it but it is it would be good for decoration kind of a thing but it, it would very much depend on the the video so like maybe if there was a specific video that it would work with then like maybe i would use it but um you know i said i wasn't going to open all of these but it seems to be what i am doing so i apologize for the the small lie this one's pretty but i think it's again one of those ones that i'm like will i actually use it because I think, like, there's a bit more realism in the flowers for this one, which is not, like, anything I'm particularly against. It's just that I think that I like things that are a little bit more, like, either graphic or kind of, like, cartoony almost. But we'll put it in the maybe pile because it, it's one of those ones that I would just use as decoration in my ideas journal more than anything else. So we'll have a bit more of a think about that in a bit. Maybe pile is getting slowly bigger, but that's probably because three of these tapes are very wide. <laughs> So I'm like, wow, maybe Paul really shot up. And it's like, yeah, because you added three tapes that are actually just wide PET tapes. There we go. That's all right. That's fine. Um, this one we're keeping. I'm not even going to bother unwrapping it. This is the poinsettia one, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So that one can say. Oh, he was gorgeous. Does anybody know that? I feel like the accent was terribly done, but hopefully you understand the reference. Uh, so in this one, we've got again kind of like soft floral moments and I think that like these three together are gonna go into the oh. uh. I think in my heart of hearts in my soul I know that I'm not gonna use them so we're we gonna put them over here okay we made a choice guys we have gone through all of my washi tape. I'm so excited. Um, but as part of that, we do need to just, just have another look at the, um, yeah, see, there we go. If the siren's going off, you guys know. You guys know. <laughs> we're going to have a look at the maybe pile, and we're going to see if if I actually want to keep those ones. I think it's also a, a case of, like, you know, do I have enough room in the drawer for them? Because I've got all of my ones that we've decided that I'm keeping on the side here. So maybe I want to put those back in the drawer and see if there's even actually space for these ones that I'm, I'm possibly in. Possibly in? That's not, that's not what I meant. I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to pull these over gently so you can kind of see the, the pile of ones that I've decided I'm keeping. <sighs> so we've got these ones that I'm keeping and we've got these ones, it's kind of hard to tell that, like, these are all towers with, like, stuff in them. Hey, look, it's all about, like, fun Halloween boys. And, like, all of these. I'll probably post a picture on Discord or something after the fact so you can kind of see, like, the actual full stash because I'm not going to pull the ones out of the drawer because we just don't have enough space. But I think we've done a fairly decent job of getting rid of ones that I'm definitely not going to use. I'm going to chuck these in the drawer just so that I have a little bit more working space. And we're going to go through the ones that are maybes and we're going to see uh like whether I actually can accommodate them in the space that I have left so 
now would be a very good time to have a drink break. Maybe like run to the bathroom while I like <laughs> put my stuff into my drawers. Um, Cause yeah, I just, I'm feeling very positive about this though, because it was the kind of thing that like, I didn't really think that I had too much tape to be completely honest. It's the kind of thing that I'm like, Oh yeah, you know, you use it. Like it gets used. It's fine. Kind of a thing. But I, um, I just didn't want to have three drawers taken up with washi tape because if you've watched my office declutter you know that I got a new set of drawers recently and I wanted to put all my tapes in those drawers and I realistically only wanted two drawers that had tape in them um mainly because I just I like the idea of just just two spaces rather than like three um so I had some tapes that were just sitting outside of the drawers. Like for instance, when the new washi tape shop order came in, like all of those ones were just sitting out on the desk effectively. Uh, which now as I've done my office re revamp, I really want to make sure that things aren't just getting stored on the desk. I would like things to actually have homes, which would be nice. Um, yeah. So I thought that it would be good to do this declutter to get rid of some of the possible excess that I may have accumulated, whether that be due to the cheerleader effect or due to personal delusion, or whatever the case may be. Uh, where is a tape that I can use to hold this tape up? My tape's trying to roll away from me. I need to think about how I actually store them in the drawer so they don't roll all over the place. I think I need to get some, like, dividers or something like that. Just for reference, this is what I'm pulling over. Pulling over these guys here. Um, which are all keeping tapes. These are all ones that I'm keeping. Uh, so... I'm getting to a place where they could all get stored in the drawer and also we'll get some dividers so that they all get stored in the drawer nicely. That would be a good idea. But yes, I'm feeling very positive about this. And I appreciate you guys for being here to make sure that I stay on track and I don't keep things that I shouldn't or get suckered into the cheerleader effect because that is very much like the bane of my existence. All right, this is looking cute. So, I mean, I know you guys can't see it, and I apologize because I just don't have a dual kind of camera system set up here, but we now need to go through the ones that we pulled aside as, like, maybe. We will see. Um, <laughs> which, is, like, given the fact that our maybe pile last time we did this was absolutely huge, I think we've done a very good job of keeping me honest about what does and doesn't need to be in my stash. Ha, 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 ha. So... Contenders, we had these three tapes, two of which are new, which instantly makes me go, kind of a thing. Um, <laughs> we've got a little stash here, and we've got the wave tape, and we've got the roses. We've got a couple of thin washies and this kind of like blue one, and we've got all of the glitters. And we've got this rose tape here. So these are the ones that I'm kind of like, maybe I'd use them. Like, do I want to keep them? Could you please stay in line? You're kind of tilting me. Oi. <laughs> like, I feel like I need something to hold you up. Either they go to the post-it note or hold you in line. You're already on thin ice, buddy. If you keep mucking around, I'm going to throw you away. <laughs> So from here, are there any that stand out instantly as ones that I don't realistically think I need to keep? The computer being rude or is the sky looks sickly green? It might be just being a little bit rude. Where's the wave? Did it all really roll away? And I... It's here, right? Okay. It's not actually as green as it kind of looks. It's more of kind of like off yellow color. I, um, I think that, yeah... <laughs> So how did that wave survive this long without going into the bucket? Uh, one, cheerleader effect. Two, this one is like the design that very much I feel like is akin to that actual, um, what's the word? You know, the painting? Anyways, I think you guys are right though. I think that I don't realistically like it enough to keep it. So it can go into the bucket. For reference, this is the bucket that things are going into. This is how, how full that bucket's looking. So you can see that it's, a uh, oh God, abusive much. I mean, that was my fault, but shh, it's fine. Um, so this is the stuff that's going away. This is the stuff that's maybe going away. And then the stuff that I'm keeping is obviously in the keeping drawers. Um, at a glance, are there any that stand out as ones that I've realistically would like to keep? I would like to keep this one. 
I do think I actually like this one enough to bother keeping it. I like the little hearts and I like the glitter. So, well, I mean the gold foiling kind of thing, not glitter. Uh, that one can get kept. I would also possibly like to keep... Oh, I do like that purple thin one. Okay, we're going to keep this one. That one we're going to keep. Are there any that stick out as ones that I don't want to keep? That's also a good question. I See, this is the thing about the glitter, is that, like, I was very ready to get rid of the glitter. I was like, you know, you're not using them. You know, you can just get rid of them. And then the other day I used one. <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, maybe I do need to keep them. It's also one of those things that I'm like, I might not necessarily keep them for my journaling kind of stuff, but I might keep them for, like, other art projects. The issue is I don't do a lot of other art projects, so would that be worth it, I suppose? It's also, like, if I got rid of them, would I actually miss them? I think we need a poll, guys. I think we need a poll, but I'm going to give you my opinions about whether or not I should or shouldn't keep them before we, we have the poll start so that you guys don't get it all gun ho okay? So the general question is, should we keep the glitter washi? And the answers are yes, keep the washi. And the other one is no, do not keep the washi. Do not keep, okay. But these, this is, this is my thought pattern, okay? So each of these glitter washies has been kept because they have good sticking power. Okay, these are the types of glitter washies that actually seem to stick well. Um, they are scotch. They're a good brand. Um, also, I'm a giant sucker for glitter. I like things that sparkle. So that's kind of part of the reason why they're still here. I find though that I don't really gravitate towards using these and the only chances that I really do get to use them is that I will typically do them to like line the page of a journal so I'll show you what I mean by that I use them to kind of like make a divider effectively so you can see on the edge here I have a glitter washi tape that divides a section in my journal so I know to turn to a section I can just like flick to there kind of a thing because this is the start of my new um, new year content planner, effectively. So that's kind of why I have the glitter washies, because I could use them for that, and that's what I previously would use them for. So they are beautiful. They did technically have a function. But outside of that, I don't think I really use them. So do we think that I should keep them for the kind of, like, reasons that I've specified? Or do we think that that's not really valid enough and that I should kind of give them away, okay? I, or they should go into the bucket, Okay. So it's up to you guys. You guys are gonna 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 help help me through this. See, the gold one is the one that I have used the most, but it's also the one that I've had the longest. So I don't think it's necessarily because I like the gold the most. I think it's kind of like, um, you know, <laughs> it's just just the, like gotten the most use out of out of uh, kind of like the reasons that I've had a, a gold be needed kind of thing. Like maybe like a Christmas theme, which is very much why the red and the gold are the most used because they did get used in Christmas themes. So mm. I don't know it's roof break for me, but you guys, you guys are kind of split on it. You're not sure. We also have some people who are on the, like keep some, get rid of others. I've decided I'm it's, it's an all or nothing game for literally no reasons <laughs> for no reason. I, 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 it's either going to be all together or none of them. But look at how glittery they are. Like, so pretty and shiny. Shiny and beautiful. And I think that's probably why I keep them. Because I like the shiny and I like the beautiful. But I'm like, don't you don't flip and use them, do you? See, we've got the siren there, don't we? See, Pride Month theme. This would be great for Pride Month. Do I miss any of the washi tapes I de last time? Not really. If I'm honest. I, um... <laughs> I love the little sirens coming through. Um, I I had a couple that I pulled out of my D-stash pile because I kind of like keep the D-stash pile for a while just to, I say a while, I kept it for like almost a year um, <laughs> to try and just to make sure like that I actually didn't want to keep any of them. But already seeing you have approximately 10 seconds to cast your own votes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. This poll was not helpful at all. 
<laughs> because you guys are 50-50 split on whether we should keep or not. Um, okay, okay. Oh, this is tricky, right? Because I like... Arr. You guys do kind of think that I should split the colors, don't you? Fine. All right, we're gonna do it one more poll. Or this is the this is the this is the last thing. Okay, sixty nine votes. A. So, glitter washi. Should we get rid of all? Get rid of most. Keep five colors. Or keep. Get rid of some only black colors or should we keep all there we go now there's four options for you so you guys can have a little bit more variety okay <laughs> so out of the color how many you have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we have eleven here okay so of our four options we have either one get rid of all of them just one fell swoop get them gone nice and easy or do we keep them all? We'll just keep every single one here. Nice and easy as well. Or should I get rid of most of them and keep like four or five colors that are my favorite? Or should I get rid of maybe like the two or three that are the least appealing colors? There we go. All right. It seems like you guys reckon we should get rid of most of them. Okay. This is a much more swayed vote in, in the favor of this. And this is why when you set up a poll, you need to do it properly. <laughs> So you're going to get much more helpful information from that. While you guys are thinking about that, I am going to say that I'm going to get rid of these. I am going to get rid of that one. I am going to get rid of these three. I am going to get rid of you. I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to keep this one. There we go. See, look at me making decisions. All of these are going. Goodbye. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you. And I'm going to keep you. <laughs> And, like, I'm just going on gut feelings here. Uh, I'm going to get rid of you. Even though, like, I have a nostalgia point for this guy, I, I know I'm not using it. And then I'm going to keep this one. And I'm going to keep that one. And I'm going to keep white just, just to see if, like, I can find a proper use for it. Oh, dear. <laughs> I kind of, like, stalled. I'm like, oh, you were doing so well. I'm going to, I literally don't even know. I'm going to put all of these guys in the bucket though. Whoa, okay, calm down. We're putting these ones in the bucket so they can go into the bucket. <clears throat> Which, I mean, can we get them to stay in the bucket? Can you just stay in the bucket? No, you're just going to be really aggressive and fall out of the bucket. There we go. The bucket is safe. We'll just put that gently, gently, gently to the side. There we go. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's stalling. <laughs> Bam, bam, bam. So you guys have said that we should probably get rid of most of the colors and just keep the favorite ones. What if my favorite colors are all of them? <laughs> no, okay. So ones that stand out as favorite colors, pink, purple, blue, <laughs> uh, that blue, that green, <laughs> not you, not you, bronze randomly red <laughs> silver and black <laughs> see okay we've gotten down to this part now we need to be a little bit more selective i think because i don't think i need to keep all of these see but this is the problem like if i'm gonna keep this many i might as well just keep the yellow <laughs> the roses are different and be good to keep them you reckon if you get rid of it, it's hard to know how to dispose of because the microplastic can be harmful yeah that's tricky too um let's see I know I'm being like super indecisive about them. Yeah, mix them up. You make a very good point. Okay. Toss, the, toss the washi salad. I know I don't like this one as much. Like lime isn't really my color. <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> okay, okay. We've done a good toss. Still not decided about this rose. We'll put the rose over here. Okay. This is a beautiful purple. We're going to keep the purple. No, we can't look at the blue right after the purple. That's illegal. Okay. I don't need black. I do really like this kind of... Even though it's orange, it's like almost like a bronzy kind of thing. So I'm like, I'm going to keep that one. Over there for at least. This pink is like my highlight color. Like, I absolutely love this one. So we're going to put that one to the side. Um, 
see, red and gold is really good for Christmas. And that's kind of like where I've used these three together, like as a Christmas kind of color palette. And that's probably why I got they got kept for as long as I did. You know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna do we're just gonna do the easy easy job. We're just gonna say I don't need them. We're just gonna put them all in the pocket bucket. Done. We made a choice. They're all over there. No, stop kind of coming back. We made a choice. Stay over there. Huh. Okay, you. <laughs> the the roses is tricky because, like you guys have said, they are like a very unique thing, and I don't have anything else like them. But I don't think I actually like them realistically like the pattern's cute but I don't think I actually like the pattern enough to bother keeping it so I think I'm going to put that to the side but hey guys look what we did we've decluttered the washi tape or at least that section of it because technically speaking we have an entire another bucket here to look at <laughs> because these ones are the ones that I like to use for masking but I think I have too many of them so that just seems ridiculous so what we're going to do is we're going to pull these ones out. We're going to tip them all out and then very quickly pull out the ones that I know are really good for masking. And we're going to see how many I have. And if that's enough, then the rest of them can also go into the fuck bucket. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do like a quick just pull out. Just a quick, just a cheeky pull out. Um, so we're just going to pull all of these ones out and put them in the middle. And it's going to be like a speed round. Like... <laughs> Oh my god, there's so much in this bucket. I'm just, I would just tip it out, but I know that it'll end up going everywhere. So. <clears throat> See? Literally already going everywhere. <laughs> so, all of these ones uh, can go in the middle. Like, technically speaking, I could get rid of the wide ones so that it doesn't take up as much space, like you said. That's like a very valid idea. It's more just I want to keep the ones that I know have, like, the way that they stick means that they pull off the page very easily. So all of the ones that are very easy to pull off the page, I would like to keep because effectively, like, what I'm using them for here is to mask the page. So I need to, like, stick them down to the page and then pull them off the page. So anything from Archer and Olive is exactly like that. So these ones, that one... Uh, this guy here, also this one, like all of these guys are the ones that I can stick down onto the paper and pull them up super, super easily. So I'm going to pull those out first. But that also means some of the thicker ones. Like this guy is, you can see, distinctly thicker, but he's very easy to use. So I'm going to keep those. Get rid of the skinny ones so you don't accidentally go over them. That's a very valid idea. Uh, this one isn't super skinny. Um... This one's another Archer and Olive one, though. So we're going to keep this one in the, the bucket of stuff that does the thing that I want it to do. There we go. Does the thing that I want it to do. Does the thing that I want it to do. Like, all of those can go in there. I feel like I need to put this here so you can kind of see what I'm doing. So these are the ones that we're, like, keeping. Uh, this is the same kind of deal. Uh, that one is from Notebook Therapy, but I think it's it feels the same level of tacky. So we're going to keep it um, in the discard pile or the demoted pile demoted 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 yeah like you guys said all of these thin ones realistically shouldn't be in here um i have used them previously for masking when i've done something like um oh you know those paintings that people do where they make like a geometric kind of pattern out of washi tape and then they paint around it um it's a little hard to explain Oof, those ones are all kind of like medium, medium skinny. That one's just yuck. <laughs> that one can go in here because it's from Archer and Olive. <laughs> it's kind of sad because I know that the Archer and Olive ones are the ones that people are typically like, oh, I really like the pattern of that. I'm like, yeah, I'm keeping it to mask my journal. <laughs> it feels like an unfortunate end for those kind of tapes, but... But that's effectively what I want to use it for, so it is what it is. But you can see, like, already, this is how much tape I have just for masking. I don't need to keep all of this. That seems a little bit unrealistic in terms of, you know, my need, I guess. So I'm thinking, no, that one go right here, that pretty much everything else that's in this stash can go into the pile of I don't need you anymore. 
That one looks like it's... I don't know if it's from Archer and Olive. I don't think it is. It doesn't look familiar, but let's see. What do we have in terms of, like, stickiness on you, my friend? There we go. You say that the notebook therapy one likes to stick to paper? I don't know, because it doesn't... I mean, I need to test it on something before I confirm it kind of a thing, but we'll put it to the side. But, like, all of these ones here, which are from Kmart, I've kept them for masking, but they're actually not good for it, so there's absolutely no point in having them kept for that. So that just seems silly. I'm going to need a bigger boat, though, because this is not working out in terms of, like this guy over here for the discard pile there's just like way too much but yeah i think all of these ones oh no we'll keep that big fatty boom batty washy <laughs> le chunk you can stay but everything else is going away yay because yeah this is this is plenty this is plenty for my masking i reckon um so i don't think i need any of the other ones so all of this stuff can go away look at how much we decluttered today guys isn't this excellent so we got rid of all of the glitter tapes and we got rid of the heart things heart things rose things all of these little thin guys all of this all of this all of this all, all of this and i apologize if the microphone is just not living for it but all of this all of this all of this 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 is the decluttered washi stash so if you live in the Wellington region or feel like coming for a holiday anytime in the not too distant future and would like to grab your hands on some washi, uh, then here you go. Yeah, exactly. Think of the draw space. Round of applause for us, team. Thank you so much for your assistance in this endeavor. I'm feeling very positive. You deserve to go over here. Why are you in there? And by over there, I mean into the, um, you know, space for masking because this is another Archer and Olive tape that I like to use for that. So I'm feeling good. We've done amazing things. If you liked this video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Pray for me as I try and organize my drawers with the tape that I did keep, but I think we have done such a good job. Alrighty team, I will catch you guys next time for our live stream where we're going to be doing something. I can't remember what it is. It's either more pen swatching or a productivity kind of thing. Um, I feel like I should tell you before I go because I feel like that's just unfair. Okay, yes, next week we are doing productivity sprints. So bring something along to get done and we are going to get these things done together. Again, if you want some of this washi and you live in Wellington, flick me a message and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye for now.